You're listening to the very 61st episode of the Celtic Crack Podcast. Let's get ready to rumble! Yes, yes, yes. I'll say a few Welcome. words first to get rid of it. There's usually a little wavy patch at the start, isn't there? Yeah, mm. sounds, I don't like know what the fuck. sounds like we're broadcasting live from Belly Bunyan. <laughs> yeah, underwater <laughs> or something, yeah. So, yeah, fucking, what is it, episode 61? Yeah. 61. Well, back again, back again. Graham McCormack is here. And lads, I keep it. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. That's real. Yeah, and we have yeah. sound effects. Filming film nice. this one in front of a live studio audience. Yeah, for the crack. Yeah. Sound effects. Every time someone, better. Every time someone yeah. says something, like, <laughs> <laughs> applaud now. Yeah. yeah, little red light applause. Going off. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So who are you? Who are you, Graham Carmer? <laughs> Graham Carmer. <laughs> What's your name? I, I probably. Yeah. Tell, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! Tell the people who you are. Uh, I yeah, probably should have said, yeah. I meant to say Graham G. Trent McCormack. I yeah. fucked that up, didn't I? Yeah. No, that's cool, man. It's cool. Uh, yeah, Graham McCormack, uh, professional boxer, 5 and 0. Um, that's pretty much, that's pretty <laughs> much, pretty much it. it. That's devout that's, father, that's... devout Christian, great husband, <laughs> great guy. <all> around. <laughs> when I was seven, my bike got robbed. <laughs> <laughs> so I go back to school. Yeah. Yeah. We're here, we're here, man. We're gone 45 minutes. We don't have time left. And you're like, okay, still okay. Didn't find that bike. Yeah, let me finish. But in second class, my teacher <laughs> told me. Uh, so why yeah, did I call so. you G Tran? <clears throat> I knew oh, someone no. was going to ask me that, man. You know that? You know, Holy mess, and you don't have to explain. No, I do. God. <laughs> <laughs> is it because is it your name is, starts with a G and you hit like a train? That's what that is, pretty is much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. I never put but that got, two together. But I got that name like really young because I was always fighting. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. they were like, ah, oh, yeah. He goes, I was fighting. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that was it, really. Like, and then yeah. when I thought Simon Pro, they like, oh, yeah, what's your nickname? I was like, I kind of felt I was like a G train. He was like, oh, that's really good. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you know it's really good. <laughs> G train, yeah, it does sound good now. But well, it's catchy, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I think yeah. with boxing, it's just more of a, you know, catchy and it's a simple kind of thing now. Like, and I, yeah. everyone seems like, ah, oh, that was a G train. I'm yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's fucking cool. Like, yeah, you know? it's a class thing as well because, like, when you have a fight coming up, you can say the G train is coming and that kind yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as corny as that is, it like, actually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It does it. work. Yeah. I guarantee you, like, promoters and shit will stick that on post. Yeah, well, that's it, man. You know, it's boxing, I suppose, press and Boxing is a is a, a market as much as it is anything oh, else. You're going to have to be able to sell yourself easy. And Graham McCormick isn't someone who's doing the cheap trend. Graham McCormick is coming. Yeah, yeah, Graham yeah. is coming. Fuck <laughs> him, like, you know, Graham? There's Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Graham. <laughs> God, it sounds so bad. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, you're fucking opponent. It's like oh, I'm going to slap that. Yeah, him. Graham McCormick, <laughs> <Psh, Luther. laughs> Gonna kill him. Yeah. yeah, but you're not worried. No, someone's <clears throat> going to say. Uh, I'm going to derail him. Oh, oh, I got married, man. I've been derailed two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> derailed years ago. Uh, and I said, I do, I do, I do. I love you, babe. Money joke. I, I do, I do, I do. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I never worried about that, man. I never worried about Your that. Your anniversary only passed, didn't it? What was oh, that? Yeah, two years? Yeah. Two years, yeah. yeah. Oh, Lucky yeah, woman she is, boy. What's that, yeah. banging? Someone banging my foot, yeah. Jesus Christ. No, it's Twitch. The snarves. It's all right. Yeah. So, like, how long ago... Can you even remember when you started boxing? Or do you have the same kind of story now that uh, <clears throat> most people would have where I did it for a while when I was younger and then got to a certain age, got distracted. Yeah, and man. And came back to it and I was more serious about it the second time. Uh, it wouldn't have been the second time I was more serious about it, but yeah, yeah I started <laughs> boxing. Out, left it a few times. Both, yeah, man. Yeah. Under, I started boxing about 15, man. Uh, and I suppose I was serious for a couple of years, really enjoyed it as a teenager, and I suppose then I found alcohol and, the usual <laughs> shit, yeah. and girls and oh, cars and you know, the usual yeah, stuff yeah. and kind of came away and came back and came away and came back from it over the yeah, years yeah. and you know I had kids and a few other lives probably a few other things hit me you know with yeah. life and uh like i said it was a stop start thing for me and then when i i get i suppose give up the drink and and that side of life a couple of years back and came back boxing um i'm back to my old amateur club corpus christi and one of the monsters went to the all Ireland, had a couple of fights and I suppose I was kind of on a journey of finding myself then, man, you know what I mean? Mm. And, and I started to get a real positive attitude about life and a real uh, self-belief in myself, man. And, and I started to, to wonder how far I could go with things, you know what I mean? And, mm. and I'd been to around a couple of gyms sparring and I'd been to around a couple of guys who said, look, why don't you give the professional game a go? Like, you have to kind of style it with suited. And I suppose that, that journey then was where, where it brought me then to... to 
all right, let's give it a go. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? So I started out as 15, stopped and start for a couple of years. And then I got really serious about it in between those years. And then when I came back to it, I think it was 27, 28, I really knuckled down and, and got serious about it. And I suppose I'm here today because of that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's well, what yeah. I, was, I was saying as well. Like, uh, <clears throat> to, if you anyone who follows you on social media or anything like that or knows you in real life, just knows, can see how they're your most positive fucking person that I know. Like, yeah, Even yeah. when I used to be driving the whole time and I was working, I see you jogging fucking the whole time. And I'm driving long, eating the breakfast run. <laughs> and I see you jogging. <laughs> and there's no, like, fucking laser or fuck whatever yeah. give us a little big fucking cheer and everything inside the road most positive I just, just going to get my chicken yeah. run <laughs> that's fucking that's yeah. great like to be able to keep yeah. that positive about everything is fucking brilliant like, yeah yeah look I, I kind of centre my life on that today you know the I mean? best thing I've noticed the last few years which was your perception of everything mm. it's how it did they changed it totally turned around and the way you believe and you look at things differently mm. which is the thinking yeah, that is that's brilliant. it. I think like, that's, that's fucking that that is the best thing about it. Is your whole thinking has just changed. To, mm. I can do this, you know. Yeah. Belief is unbelievable. But that's that's that's, that's kind of what I wanted to show people when I turned professional. Like I wasn't the greatest amateur. Like I was just a tough kid. Like that liked mm. to fight. You know what I mean? I wasn't this this star spangled amateur that was promised to do this and yeah, the other. Yeah. And I suppose with my when it starts to change my life and change my mental. My, me- my mentality realistically mm. I started to say okay I, c- I can become these things like, I can do these things you know and I started mm. to listen to a lot of motivation speaking I started following a lot of guys that I really like listening to and seeing how they were saying like you know you can do things when you really put your mind to it so then when I really did start to put my mind to it and really did work hard I, I started to see these things happen for me and yeah. I was like it works oh, God, I can think I remember having conversations with Joe Russell as you know before before I turned pro and stuff like that this is going to work for me like I believed in myself like, mm. and I still do to this day like you know what I mean I believe I will get where I'm supposed yeah. to go because of how hard I work and and I suppose what's for you won't pass you by if you believe exactly. it won't. But if you if you're gonna sit there and, and expect things to happen for you and not put in the work and not believe in yourself and say you believe in yourself but don't really like you know it's not yeah, gonna happen yeah. for you, man. You know, you That's really it. have to in your heart you have to see it and, and believe it and, and it will it will happen. That's what I wanna do today with my boxing and with my life is to show people that we can become anything, like and you yeah. can do anything and change it. My life was absolute hectic in my twenties, like you know what I mean, yeah. in all the jail and drinking and drugging oh, and you know what I mean and all that stuff. Like and to look at my life today, to the life I had back then, man, it's like a completely different mm. person. Like you know what I mean? It's it's yeah. madness. When I look back at it now, like you know, Fuck I do sometimes I go back and I'm bored. I'm like, man, I used to love that mad stuff, you know. But yeah. I, mean, I really, I'm grateful for the position I'm in today. You know what I mean? The, yeah. You're the, lucky, lo- lucky to come out of it. Like, yeah, I was. No. Look, I'm lucky. I'm not dead or in jail. Like, don't, don't fucking life, that's, whatever. Like, that's you know the what great mean? thing about a sport like boxing, man, or any kind of sport like that, where it gives you that discipline like and yeah. fucking it teaches you all about respect and respecting yeah, yourself yeah. and all that kind of shit like you know? but, 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 but again like I think I think no matter what you do in your life it has to start with yourself you know what I mean you have mm. to start respecting yourself because if you can't respect yourself if you can't love yourself then you can't give it to anybody else exactly. mm. and that's where I started to find myself to go hold on a minute like I gotta change my whole life now like I gotta change the way I act because I was a fucking prick like I'll be honest <laughs> about it like when yeah. I was drinking and drugging like I was an absolute asshole like you know what yeah. I mean and I have no problem saying that like so I knew when when uh, when I started to change my life around that you know, I had to change everything like you know what I mean how I saw like Russell was saying how I saw everything how I live my life how I treated people how you know and today I, today I, I, I do that regularly I want to give that back to people to show how mm. I done it anybody can do it like you know yeah, what I mean that's it uh, it's amazing how like just changing the way you think about things changes everything like yeah, yeah. everything in your life is down to whatever mentally, you're thinking man. in your head 100% man 100%, 100%. it's it's <clears throat> it's 100% percent mentally, yeah. man. Hundred like you think negative things in your life, negative stuff's going to that's happen. Gonna happen you, yeah. if, if you think, oh, you know what, that's going to go wrong. No, it will go wrong. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, I, I say it all the time. Like, I, I don't put, no, I'm not perfect. I do get days where I feel like shit and I have negative days. But 90% of my t- of my life, my time, I, I think positively. Like, you know mm. what I mean? And even the last couple of months, the boxing wasn't going where I wanted it to. But I knew it would work out in the long run. Mm. But if I was to sit down and say, no, this isn't going right. Yeah, no, fuck this shit. It, like will, it will go yeah, wrong, yeah. man. You know what I mean? It, it, that's that's the way that's it works. The power yeah. Of, yeah, if you last your f- full view, mm. that's mm. the power of it. Like if one thing I give the negatives thing, if you're looking at it half empty, mm. it's things mm. are going to happen. Yeah. And even if mm. things happen along the way, when you're looking at it half full, it doesn't matter because you know there's something next for you. Mm. And yeah. you keep going and going and going, but it's not going to let you just sit there and feel sorry for yourself for a few mm. weeks or whatever. Like and that's the best about it. It's on and on and on. Mm. Yeah, like the, like if you. When you're saying that the boxing wasn't going the way you wanted, like a lot of people would just be like, you know what, fuck yeah. it, like I'm trying too hard for this, no, it's not going mm-hmm. the way I wanted. Yeah. 
what's the point? Like mm. the same with anything, like with jobs and stuff. When someone is trying to get a promotion or whatever, I think mm. oh, I'm never going to get that. Fuck this! I'm just going to mm. and mm. stop putting in all the effort, and then it's just going to go then, bad. But from it's going to go that way anyway. Yeah, you know we're I mean? a nation of <coughs> pity pots. Yeah, you have to yeah. admit, like it is. We have to we're turning into that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. everyone's yeah. generation is exactly. today. I should have that. But you know what, man? And and when you see people like that, man, and you see people like that are that hate their jobs or hate their relationships or are always sick. I'm not saying saying, but you know. It's because they're looking at it like that. Like, it's yeah, all, exactly. I hate my job, but I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. I hate my relationship, yeah. but I'm going to stay yeah. in it. I'm always sick, but I'm going to keep yeah. doing the same things that yeah. make me sick. So, of course, so it's going to always go around all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I remember a professor said to us three years ago, find what you like doing and get someone to pay you for it. Yeah, just a dream. Like, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. want, can peace. you get paid for yeah. riding? <laughs> 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 if only <laughs> can anyway, I want I'm more loads of money. I've been riding years. <laughs> <laughs> I like joking, love, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Too long, <laughs> I'd like to say. Only the one woman, obviously. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm married. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. not no. <laughs> Moving on. 12, 12 kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay, man. But that's the thing as well, man. Like, you know, when people say like it's like it's um it's very simple, but it's not easy. You know, like the the path will say is very simple, like or the method is yeah. just like think positive, yeah. stay positive. Yeah. You know, that's that's it. But it's not always easy to stay that way. You just have to work at it. Like, but the other thing is like when people say you can be whatever you want in this life, they leave out the part as long as you're willing to fucking work. Oh, out yeah. oh yeah, you have yeah. to put in but the you work. Know, you right? hit the nail on the head there. Like it's 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 when things. Are going easy. It's 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 easy to be positive, right? Yeah. Like you said. But it's when yeah. things are going hard in your life, and when things mm. are going wrong, that's when people go, "Nah, fuck this. I don't yeah. want this. Yeah. Fuck this positive crap." Yeah. And I have no. But it's if you can remain positive and you can remain humble and you can remain still focused on your goals when life is going wrong, that's what makes you different. That's what separates you. And yeah. That's why I think I'm in the position I'm in today is because I've done that time and time again. Mm. It's when things have gone hectically wrong in my life, and I still pursued my goal I still kept moving forward and I still tried to do my best with the situations that I've been dealt with you know what I mean yeah. and whereas before in the past when I was drinking an active addiction I would have just turned into towel and be like nah I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not getting into that no way it's gone wrong I don't want to know nothing about it you know what I mean everything whereas, everything Graham has done in the last five years now was it Graham four, four, years, oh, yeah, four or five four, yeah. everything he has done 95% of it has been action like you know yeah 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 Hundred, the yeah. rest 5% is only talking about doing it and all that but the rest yeah. is the action he mm. has put in to get yeah. to where he's gone in like you Jim was saying a lot of people saying they want to be here but do not want to get up yeah. off their arse and do it they the think someone's going to yeah, come yeah. knock on the door and give it to them mm. yeah. that's not the Jeez, case that'd be great we, <laughs> Here's ten and all here, but yeah. just stay down there and eat that pizza. Yeah. Knock yeah. the door. Yeah. I'm here to give it to you. Yeah. Women are going to come up. Said you uh, standing over to pelt. You said you wanted this work. Yeah. 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 Where did I hang this for you? Thank you, thank you. Come in. Do a frame yeah. with nice glass frame. The only way people knock at your door and give it to you when they know you're out there getting it, mm. you know, mm. because yeah, more opportunities will yeah. come exactly. to you as well. Yeah. So what I want things. to get, what I want to do. With, with my life and my career is to give back to like is mm. when I when I'm finished is to show how I done what I done with what I had you know what I mean like yeah. like I said I wasn't the most skilled amateur and I'm not the most skilled professional but I'm the hardest working pro I've ever come across yeah. when I'm, you know, what time you were in the gym this morning sir? Uh, it was early enough anyway but nine and a half nine like Sunday I, morning like I'm, I'm willing to work harder than anybody else because I feel it gives me the mental edge you know what I mean it gives me the mental edge I need you know and when I get in the ring someone that if someone wants to beat me they're gonna have to take it from me like yeah, you know what yeah. I mean I'm not gonna just give things up in my life because I've I've worked too hard for what I have and That's I'm not it, yeah. I'm not willing to give it up man you know what I mean there's I'm not much than being in there and thinking like I didn't really train hard enough yeah man fight, 100% no. like, you're already it's not, fucking like, doubting yourself I think the only then, like, thing people say to me oh great I'm putting on weight like outside the camp which I do yeah, 100% yeah. and I always on my hand up and say I put on weight outside the camp all Everyone the time does really when like. I'm in camp man I'm in camp, like I'm, I'm yeah. switched on, you know what I mean, and I'm, 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 I'm dieting, which I hate, <laughs> but I do it, I do it. I, I, that, you're I, not a jockey, yeah. man. you're on fire. I fucking hate it, I hate dieting, man. <laughs> but look, it's got to be it's done. Part of it, though, it's got to be done, and it's down to the hard work as well. And it's like yeah. any job, man. Job. Anything you do, if you want to be successful, no matter what job it is or what you're doing in your life, maybe college, job, family good dad or relationship whatever you have to be willing to work hard man mm. things don't go right all the time like you know and that's what i say to people when people ask me like when people come to me for advice or if i can help anyone out you know i don't think i'm just great fucking guru like hey, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> let me what change your life yeah 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 i'm never going to come across one of those yeah, but I remember the day you came down the road dressed like howdy krishna <laughs> 
parody <laughs> fish. I joined him. I joined him because I have the ha- I have the hair. <laughs> I wish I had the hair. Oh, right. oh yeah. yeah, him. Look, he's he's. So the why just that? Like, you know, the hardest. So do you reckon the the hardest part <laughs> of staying fit and performing? Do you reckon the diet is is the hardest thing mm. or what? Yeah. For me, anyway, man. Like, so I, I know but yeah. outside of motivation, but actually, yeah, you know, yeah. Actually, thing like, like no, I I I never lie about it, man. People ask me the hardest part of of it for me, but hundred percent is the food. Yeah. I love bad food. Yeah. No, there's no worse what's about it. I love chocolate. I love Taylor's. I love yeah. pizza. Like, does like, pizza is life to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I fucking love pizza. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not one of these athletes that can, that, that, like, my metabolism is left in last week. Like, yeah. if I look at food, my ass jiggles. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? I, I swear <laughs> to God. So, like, that's the hardest part for me, man, is the yeah. weight. No, I do get it down. I always make weight, but God, it's a struggle. Like, yeah. you know, but I think in a sick way, man, I think I've had this out before. I like it in a way, you know. Yeah. Whereas the like, challenge, like, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. like yeah. I got to lose two yeah. stone. Oh, yeah. yes, I'm going to feel the difference. Yeah. A lot you know? of shit like that, I think. Yeah. And even like getting a tattoo. Yeah. Like, the fucking, like, yeah, you kind of like that as well. Yeah. Even yeah. Though it's not I got one pain. yesterday, man. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, oh, it's, yeah. Fuck yeah. It's, it's the pain. It, 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 that's exactly it's, it, man. It's, it's like, there's a lot of things like yeah. that where you, it's, it's, it seems like it should be bad, but you're kind of enjoying it or something in a weird way. Yeah. I suppose it's because you know you're getting something good out of it as well. But when you're back then, to the wall, when it's coming to crunch time, then you shine. Yeah, that's exactly. okay. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Don't say crunch okay. time, you'll make him want to eat. I wish it was crunch time now. <laughs> I wish I had a crunch right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> you like, 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 is this the part of the podcast where we have crunchies? <laughs> <laughs> crunchy break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is crunchy it Friday break. yet? Time crunchy, it's Sunday. Uh, yeah, what's the book? Okay. Um, oh, no. Okay. can't even remember well, it's my first time using this thing I had a little sound effect I was going to use there yeah. <laughs> crunchy is it a crunchy one no no it was a we'll be right back kind of a thing yeah. after this crunchy <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. but uh, yeah so one thing that I've always wanted to ask somebody who's who's training frequently in you know, jogging and fucking everything like that no one who start like oh, yeah. <laughs> I am somehow. the fucking <laughs> worst person in the world for any of this because I get fieries like every you know, not even a couple of months probably every couple of years <laughs> couple of hours. I'm going to get fit now and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that yeah. does that burning sensation in your chest ever go away when you're fucking running <laughs> or jogging no that fucking horrible burning <laughs> sensation I'm miles, must I do? does that go away eventually or do you want to get that checked out <laughs> is it just oh, it's there. that's called herpes <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? In your, like, it's like you're coming up your fucking throat, a horrible, boring feeling, man. That's why I never ever fucking stuck to jogging or running or any of that. I think, I think, I think, I suppose the best way that, like, with training, it's when you first start training, it's like first start doing anything, it's it's going to be different for you, and you're going like, to yeah. feel, oh, I can't do this, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And you have to push past those pain yeah. boundaries to get, but even me, you know, I'm back in camp, and first couple of weeks are horrible, like, because yeah. I gotta train harder and. While I'm dieting, so I'm like, it's horrible and the pain is all, but I know the more I push through, the fitter I the get, the stronger I get, the easier it'll get for me. So, yeah. like, I suppose the best way to say that is, like, if you do a couple of jogs, that yeah. burning sensation does go away. Oh. You know what I mean? So, I always, ah, thought, ooh, I always thought, like, I'd see people jogging, and be like, how oh, are they jogging with that burning right. sensation in their chest? That just proves he never adapted to anything. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. As soon as something gets hard, yeah. it's always going to yeah. be like this. Yeah. Yeah. The that's burning why, sensation is back. That's why you don't watch movies. It's 20 minutes in. If I concentrate this long, just this yeah. now. Oh, I way. can't. I've no concentration at all. No. Uh, Talking uh, to people, like, do you do any bit of jogging? Oh, no, Jesus, I can't. It burns too much. Walk away. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, like, jogging burns yeah, like the influence must have iron or something <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah so what I well, often wondered about myself is uh, the transition from being an amateur boxer to a pro mm. how does that work like obviously you have to sign up with a commission and this and that or like, yeah, who decides like, it's not as easy as everyone thinks man it's, yeah, uh, it's, so, yeah. it's not as easy as everyone thinks give me a CV <laughs> pretty much like yeah, yeah you gotta give a but CD just, of your boxing like, I think it's an interesting one for like younger lads who are out there now who are thinking about getting into boxing mm. and they might be trying to see the path ahead like how mm. could I ever become a pro boxer I don't yeah, even know yeah. how the fuck you do that like yeah, how does yeah. it work who do I have to see about um, it you know think, what I mean yeah well I think you have to have a bit of experience for me you know, as an amateur I had about five, I think I had 50 odd amateur fights like, oh, yeah. but like I said it was a stop and start career you know what I mean that's so, what I was wondering about like yeah. there's no like magic number of you have to have a no, certain amount no of amateur fights there's a couple of amateurs like there's a really good guy in England um you get like nine amateur fights. You only fought for World Title recently. There's no Julio Cesar Chavez is so never fought for never fought amateur or anything. Oh, yeah. Um so like there's no real magic number, but you can't just turn up and go, Well, Johnny, I'm turning pro there in the yeah. morning. <laughs> is it all about scouting? No, like if you're really, really good. Really, on. really, really good. I wasn't like so no one's How many came on to you? <laughs> yeah, none. <laughs> I just scout them. They'll all be I'm not all yeah, about yeah. professionally boxing, yeah, yeah. Well, like <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, like there, there is when you're really, really good, man. You, uh, you get people come on to you, like you know what I mean. And uh, like when you win loads of Irish titles, and like like Paddy Donovan there from Limerick, and mm. like he was wanted by loads of people, like because mm. he was he was so so good, like so many amateur titles, like you know what mm. I mean. So he was scouted. Whereas like I had to, I I I was over in Ricky Hatton's training, and my my friend got under motor. And he said, "Yeah, I'd be interested in having a chat with him. You know, I've chat with him, and then like you got to go through the, the whole rigmarole. Where, like it's it, you have to chat with the promoters. Like, look, if you can't sell tickets, you're not going to be able to work in this game. Like in in the Irish professional boxing, like if you can't sell tickets, you like, have to sell it. You have, you to, have to sell the tickets. Like yeah. it's very yeah. very hard You'd to get going. Draw, no, like. no, I'm very very lucky <clears throat> and grateful for the support I have in Limerick because I yeah. I bring a massive crowd with me to my fights, and it's it blows me away every single time That's I sell it. a lot of tickets, and I just like say thanks everyone that does that. I was at the last one. I want yeah. my money back. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, went, last, he went to see didn't last long enough <laughs> I wanted but it to go it's great man, time. Not, but if you, yeah. if you if you if the promoter will say you think you'll be able to sell tickets if you think you can't then oh. it's going to be very hard for you yeah. then you got to meet with then you got to then you got to spar for the BUI which in Ireland then I'm just going on Ireland which is the boxing union of Ireland and if they are, don't think you're good enough you won't be getting a professional license like yeah. I've seen fellas get denied like you know what I mean so yeah, yeah. it's not as easy as oh, I, I just going to go up and turn professional like you know what yeah. I mean so there was a lot to it, man. But yeah. if you're if if you're willing to work hard, man, if you're willing to work hard as a young, I'd say to any young boxer out there today, like if you're willing to work hard and you're willing to listen to your coach and you want something bad enough, then you can have it. Like no, no, it what's about back, it? Like yeah. you know what I mean? It's hundred percent can be yours and will be yours. Yeah, yeah. But you have to be willing to put in the graft, like you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. I'm um, so. Your next fight is coming up. I have it written down there. The 9th of May, Saturday, the 9th of May, in yeah. WIT Arena in Waterford. Yeah, WIT Arena. Ring Kings 2. Ring Kings 2, yeah. Look, yeah. Look, I cannot wait, man. Cannot you, wait. You fought in Ring Kings 1 as well, isn't yeah, you? Yeah, and it was it was unbelievable, man. I, yeah. I, I I can't wait to be back on that show. I'm, I'm, I'm over that, that Neil Power, the promoter show, is having me back on the show and like him a big shout out for, yeah, for putting yeah. me on the show. Look, I can't explain. Ring Kings 1 was amazing, man. Yeah. Like, it was unreal. It was like Las Vegas came to Ireland, man. He yeah, put mad atmosphere. Was, like. Oh, it was amazing, man. There was so much production put into it. And it, he's he's taught me that this one's going to be better again. Like, mm. So I can't imagine how good it's going to mm. be, you know. He puts a lot of time and effort into even Even now, 10 weeks out, and there's interviews and videos and, yeah. you know, loads of stuff coming up, you know. So it's it's uh, it's really exciting, man. I'm looking forward to getting back, on, back it, yeah. out there again. And I've been out of the ring for a while, man. There's been a bit of up and down with my career. I left my managerial company and... <clears throat> part of the way as my trainer no part of the way as my trainer was just because his life got busy my life got busy and just have to train down home instead of tra- travelling to Dublin commuting to Dublin all the time mm-hmm. so the managerial thing was just we didn't see eye to eye in a couple of things and, and that's yeah, it you yeah. know what I mean we went separate ways and, and, and that's it you know and uh, I won't comment anymore on that no, <laughs> <Yeah. sorry. laughs> but weren't you um, were you not uh, training with Noel there in Functional oh, no, Fitness Noel is still, so Noel is still my training this so coach he, he's, he's still a big member of my yeah. team big know, member of my team Noel is a member Noel of my team well, all the time yeah yeah, yeah. Noel, is, Noel is like a brother like he, like. he was one of the old uh, boy wrestlers on the yeah yeah he was Yeah, yeah. we'll mention Noel in his boy wrestling I always slag him over that all the time a Cura B yeah 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 he still is a Cura B he still is it was myself and myself and Noel and probably five or six other lads used to run midnight clubs you remember that yeah 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 all over the fucking yeah we started be slagging you the time you <laughs> 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 no, but Noel's a great guy, man. Noel, Noel is still a big, ma- massive part of my team, man, yeah, and yeah. always will be. Like, I, Noel was a big part of me turning pro as well. You know he's what I mean? had he a long time, me. man. He yeah, was doing yeah. MMA back when most people hadn't heard of MMA. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. He's big into all. Like, yeah, all yeah, he's fighting, still, he's still, he still lost the bet because he back on McGregor to be for a mirror, and he ah. still hasn't done his fourth. But <laughs> oh, well, look, we won't mention it, sure. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, oh yeah, Noel's a good guy. So look, my my my, my team in Dublin has 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 changed. Like, as in, like I don't go to Dublin anymore, and. I'm trained on home. Willie Casey's on board now. Oh, yeah. He's uh, helping out with the coach. That's my friend. Big Bang Willie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Bang Willie's on board. My friend Sean Kelly is a part of my coach, you know, as well. My friend Willow Mack is a, is, a, is, a, is my advisor now. So he's been speaking to a couple of managers for me about going forward in my career. So obviously, Noel and Ian Benson is on Studio One Fitness is on board as a team, you know, as well. And of course, I have I, I do pads with a guy every week, Albert Sasha. He's, he's been coaching me since the turn pro. So it's yeah. like, there's a real big. A lot of people around, but, <laughs> but it's, a, it's, it's a real homely vibe. And it's Tommy McCormick as well, you know, and obviously mm-hmm. Siobhan and everyone else. So, like, so solid crew. So yeah, <laughs> we're a really big like crew, <laughs> you know. But it's great to have so many the OG <laughs> train. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got yeah. a couple of carriers yeah. on the yeah. thing, but it's, it's great, man, to have such a homely vibe, man, with, yeah. with this camp. It's, it's, I'm really enjoying it, man. I've been back training a couple of weeks with the lads and been up in the club and stuff like that, and it's really. It's really fucking enjoyable, like you know what I mean, mm. and and having my own people around me, like is 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 it makes it a lot easier for me, like oh, you know. Of course, yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah, I don't have to travel, man. Traveling was was like I, I love Eddie Hoyland was is a great and still is a great friend of mine, and amazing, and his mother was great. But you know the
it's nice to be able to put my head down on, on my pillow at home, like you know what I mean, and get the missus maybe to give me an old tiddle in the back. When I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all about the back tiddles, lad. Instead of Eddie doing a feeling. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Eddie, Eddie was great, to me, man, and we're, and we're still very close. You know, we didn't follow or anything like that. It's just yeah. like he's got busy, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back in the ring, man. I've been out. It seems like I've been out forever, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's July last year. Yeah. So like, I'm looking forward it's to getting back. It's been in. under a year anyway, like. Yeah, it? yeah. It, yeah. I think it'll be once I get in May. Uh, be 10 months my last voice yeah. so, so yeah, I'm hoping to kick, kick start the year like, you know? you'd rather be a lot more active than that yeah obviously. that's it man I'm not 25 like, you know what I mean yeah. I, I want more activity so look I've been chatting to a couple of guys and looks like no this year once I get this fight away we'll have a, we'll have a good couple of fights this year like, so yeah. look I'm just looking at May, May 2nd May 9th first so that's, that's all that's on the agenda yeah. no, as and I say. has your opponent been announced for that or what Man, there's been so much rigmarole about this yeah, morning. Yeah, because I, I noticed, I was looking at oh, all the it. posters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were the only one that was on the poster yeah. on his own. So yeah. I was like, who oh, the fuck is his opponent? So like, we, I man. got called out by, by this guy. I'm not even going to mention his name because I've given him enough exposure <laughs> yeah, over the last couple of weeks. I'm right, not even mentioning like... his name, right? Because I'm genuine giving him enough exposure. But I got called out by a fella for the Celtic title fight and on that ranking show, yeah. which I agreed to. I said, yeah, let's go, let's have it. You know what I mean? I can't wait. Like, I want the title fight, so of course. So... That was supposed to go ahead, and then for some reason or another, his team didn't agree to the terms or whatever, and it's not going ahead now. So then the BOI, who are the sanctioned body in Ireland, mm. like they run the show in Ireland, like they, what they say goes, like sanctioned a fight between two other fighters at my weight. So I can't really say anything about that. So they should fight for the title now, which the whole God, that's what should happen, mm. and I'll hopefully fight the winner. So for, for now, my opponent is going to be whoever they get for me to fight but the guy the promoter told me it's going to be a tough opponent from England so I'm not look. I know it's going to be a hard guy to come so like it'll be a step up from my last fight every fight I've had has been step ups like you know what I mean they've been tough guys so I know what it's no, going to be good Tyson Fury walked out I'd fight him I'd fight him man <laughs> give it a lash I'd sing a song with him afterwards yeah. give it a go anyway I'd give it a go <laughs> what a man what a man what a man Jesus. which a pity we didn't get any clips you were singing I've seen him many My throat is sore I've seen him I won't be singing He's a top man For the singing boy Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Sing the hymn like, What's your go-to style, like. What's your go-to oh, song now Tupac <laughs> 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 I don't know I've many many songs In the shower You know Many songs yeah. Many men by 50 cent <laughs> Can you hit all the notes I'm, I'm very I'm very religious So ghetto gospel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to praise the Lord so. I've heard it a few times Yeah And you can look it up On YouTube as well Actually Oh, right, right, right. Right. <laughs> oh, is he under singing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 he's got to kill me in oil. It's uh, yeah. Look, <laughs> picture <laughs> people looked it up and it was my, oh, my, shit. My, my, my man runs a choir, man, and yeah. so uh, that's how you got into this. Yeah, it? Well, no, my mother, my mother is the only gospel choir, so it's a great choir, and she's great. So she gets me every year oh. to sing it. Christmas is like I can't say no to my mother like, you, know yeah. I mean? like yeah, you can so. try and say no to my mother but she's the kind of woman you can't say no to like, you know, I love yeah. my mother like, but you can't say no to like, yeah. that just goes to show like that you don't yeah. have to be fucking like oh, I'm fucking I grew up singing yeah. Yeah. no I'm a boxer yeah. hard man yeah. I fucking don't yeah. do things like nah, that I love singing that's, you can be bored that like, shit annoys me man yeah. these no. fellas fellas that were hard all yeah, day, yeah, day yeah, 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 like yeah. alright man chill out for two minutes like I love singing man I enjoy it I'm singing you fool my throat's sore so I won't be able to sing tonight but yeah I, lo- I like it, man. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's a different, yeah. different side of me. You know? It's exactly. good to have that. It's good to have that. They're, they're yeah. not just seen as this fucking Some crack my broke into song now when you're not talking about <laughs> 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 it. I'm going to finish it off with a little number from Graham. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, can you get that yeah. music going there? But background? I tell you, though, it is a good thing to promote as well that it's not all masculinity. Mm. You're saying, like, mm-hmm. look, yeah, I'm a boxer, but so what? I can also have this. I can also sing a song. I can get down. I can get down with all the kids. I think. I think I'll just um, throw in a few questions here and there, yeah, yeah. just as we're chatting away. <laughs> yeah. But this is a um, very straightforward one from a fella called JD on Snapchat. He just said, how do you prepare for training, food-wise and physically? I, I'm guessing I'll he means prepare that. for a fight. Um, yeah, well, I suppose preparing for the food-wise, man, is it like we've covered already a pain in the ass. It, yeah. But it's got to be done. Like You have to eat clean. Like, there's yeah. no worse what's about it. Like I, I have to lose a lot of weight when I'm in camp. I'm always... Two a stone and a half, two stone over every time I come into that camp. Like, so I oh, have to yeah. eat right. There's no worries what's about it. So, yeah, that's 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 that's, that's that has to be done. So you have to eat right. You got to eat. You know, get in your protein, your carbs, and your fats. That's mainly it. Like, yeah. you know, and then the physical side of it, man, it's just train as hard as you possibly can. But train as was intelligently as well. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, You're training for a specific thing. Like, I'm not training to go out and pull weight or to go out and do this I'm training to yeah. fight you know what I mean yeah. so I have to train my mind I have to train my my body I have to you know train my boxing you know what I mean train my brain to connect with my legs and my hands to make sure mm-hmm. I do it all right because I look really stupid <laughs> <laughs> you know, my legs, you know? why is he not moving you know? yeah. so yeah look it's 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 uh 
it's a very very hard road in camp but it, it's it's enjoyable so like yeah. it's just pushing it really hard and working really hard and so how long of a training camp do you do 10 weeks 10 weeks yeah. you're in yeah. camp now like yeah yeah you're doing a podcast man. yeah, yeah. Start, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, start tomorrow yeah, yeah. start tomorrow, start tomorrow. So, yeah. um this is another one as well um ask graham mccormack about the time i beat him in the amateurs <laughs> <laughs> Who was that from? from. <laughs> it's definitely Anthony Collins. Anyway. <laughs> Anthony Collins said that one in. Yeah, but he went. He went on to say that um, you had you had to you had to get your mother to contact his mother to keep him away from you. <laughs> you said you wouldn't mention that for God's sake. Sick of him and putting up this stuff. Genuine man. He's supposed is to be my friend. Is there a story behind that? Or? No, no. <laughs> no, he never beat you in the amateur. No, no. no. Oh, I thought. <laughs> he <laughs> all wanted to no, you know, he half gets me in headlocks when you're walking on the road. I don't see him like you know what I mean. The headlocks, and people look. Oh, I have to, I have to the headlocks. Yeah. G train uh, is beat. Yeah, yeah. I got him. I got him. I derailed him. <laughs> yeah, so it's a great life for Anthony Collins in your life. I can tell you that here now. He's one funny. Yeah, he seems boy. like a bit of a fucking. Ah, he's a great right? crack, man. I've seen a lot of his videos on Snapchat and just yeah, on Facebook yeah. and all. Like drives he's, his father mad. Ah, man, he drives, but he's brilliant, man. He's very, very funny to have around. I mean, yeah. but he's a good block as well. He's a really nice block. But yeah. the funny side of it really makes him. Yeah, yeah. I was saying to him, I'm going to add uh, a few clips of his father into this little soundboard. Yeah, yeah. Because it's fucking... Oh, those, those videos took You had a bath, no? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> fucking go, look. The people who are listening probably know, like... Oh, I've probably man, heard him. Seen yeah, everyone like, knows him. Yeah, everyone probably seen the video of him slamming on the brakes with his father on the passenger seat. That was all <laughs> yeah, over the place. Brilliant, man, yeah. And the fucking ice cream one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he, the window. he slammed on the brakes as well, yeah, yeah. was it? Or did he like just that. slap it into his face? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it was oh, a truck around, so he threw it out the window. So remember, we were going to talk about the other time you don't meet with them and the bus. Oh, my <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. Like, that was brilliant. And the clip was only like 10 seconds long, yeah? But Anthony was there for about a minute. Explain quickly just what happened. We were... We were coming on the traffic and Henry, you know, it's really busy there yeah. by Apache Pizza. There was a big bus beside us right beside our window. So he rolled on the window, locked it so I couldn't roll it back up. And he goes, bus wanker. And he turned his head, right? So I looked at him, man, and the bus looks at me like this. The bus driver. Big look, and he was a big angry fella, and he just <laughs> stared at me like this, and I couldn't stop laughing at him, right? Then my phone started ringing, I was like, drive the fucking car. But like, the clip didn't stop, but he stayed there for another 20 seconds, like, and my man is like, chewing his thumb like this. The and driver's like, face, yeah, man. Yeah, sorry, 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 oh, man. Oh, man, it was, it was hilarious. Boris or something, straight <laughs> from Russia. Yeah, yeah, I'll get him back for that. I'll get you back for that, and someday. <laughs> Come there. Ah, fuck's Have you a few more? Yeah. You got a few questions? Oh, I have you? a few, yeah, but they're all over the place because I put this up um during the week and a few of them come in mm. um gavin crosby said would you beat a bear in a fight mm. i definitely fight one anyway no i don't know i'm gonna say yeah know, because if my gavin... son watches this and i'm like he thinks i can beat the hulk so yeah man bring, <laughs> yeah, bring that yeah, bloody exactly. bear on i kick his ass <laughs> yeah you'd like to think he's taking a piss but then again he might just think well he's a professional boxer <laughs> yeah, so you never yeah, know. Yeah. a bears can't box a panda if leonardo bear. dicaprio could do it i could definitely <laughs> yeah. do it yeah. Yeah. that's for sure that's so, out of a film <laughs> See? Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> yeah, this is from a fella called Jake Jackson. Shout out to him. Um, he said, "Ask G Tren." He called you G Tren. No, oh, Jake. We what, what he thinks of the likes of Irish fighters like Michael Conlon, Lee Reeves, Paddy Donovan, and what's your prediction for John O'Carroll versus Scott Quigg? I think all the lads are absolutely brilliant fighters. Michael Conlon's a great boxer. Big fan of Michael Conlon. Lee Reeves is a great boxer. Good friend of mine. Paddy yeah. Donovan's a great boxer. Good friend of mine. Top, top talent. Uh, I think Limerick boxing is absolutely booming at the minute. Definitely. Especially, yeah. you know, you have myself, you have Paddy, you have Lee, you have Siobhan O'Leary, who's, who trains with me, who's from Kerry, but is, is ours really. Like, she's a Limerick <laughs> lady. <laughs> you know? give, her, give her a big shout out. She's a Limerick lady, realistically. But yeah, Lee and Paddy are great boxers. Uh, great careers ahead of them. Um, absolutely fantastic careers ahead of them. And I, and I wish them the absolute best. And, I, and I'm lucky enough that I get to train with them every now and again. They're good friends of mine and they're top talents to have, you know. Yeah. And my prediction for Channel Carl Scott Quick, I speak to John Regan. And, and I know it's a bit of a mad thing he's he? a legend man and anytime I watch him fight I'm always just there going calm down yeah. small he man. is a cool guy but if you, follow, if you follow him on Instagram man he's a really yeah. cool guy like he's really spiritual and really lives in the positive side of life as well like you know so I really like him it's a tough fight though man you know Scott yeah. Quigg is not a pushover man mm. he's, a, he's a tough guy like, and, and he's, he's there to fight I, I, I'm, I'm rooting for John O'Carroll yeah. I'm a big John O'Carroll fan so I'm rooting for John O'Carroll and I I think his aggression and his, his work rate could out to Scott Quigg but you, you can't Look past Scott Quigg, like he's yeah, a very, very yeah. dangerous fighter. I think they're trying. I think they're kind of thinking they have him on the slide. But his last fight, he got his jaw broke. I think again, which has happened to him two or three times. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And he kept fighting on, like he's a tough <laughs> cookie, like you know. So yeah. it's going to be a very, very entertaining fight. So I'm definitely rooting for John O'Carroll. So I hope John O'Carroll wins. Yeah. Good job. Hello. 
Um, probably should have had another question. Don't there. tell the bookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we kind of kind of mix them up. I suppose that was a serious one. Then Eddie Walsh asks, "Can it's you my do, can you do a backflip?" <laughs> <laughs> Eddie knows I can do a backflip. You see me? No, unfortunately, I can't. I wouldn't be the most uh, acrobatic boxer. <laughs> That's a good, they're the good kind of questions <laughs> that we need. They're the kind of questions, questions we need. Yeah, to the questions that have been asked, like yeah. so. Because you wouldn't see it in your bibliography, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. Your like, autobiography, I'm, bibliography. Yeah, I've that in my head. Do college work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think you know this fella as well, <coughs> Chopper Mac. Yeah. Oh yeah. He said, uh, "I this one had me wondering." He said, "That's my advisor. That's William Mac, my advisor." He's oh, is like, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he said, "Ask Graham. Would he consider himself to really be a natural sopa?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't think that was a question that oh, needed to be asked. That's a private <coughs> joke me and him have. Yeah. And I'm not going to get in there, right? Because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you are so far. Like, yeah, I am so far. Yeah. Did you finger a bird with a disc or your right hand or something? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's how I know. <laughs> I'm a natural so far. Yeah. yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, because I know lads who watch fights every week and yeah, still yeah. don't know what a so far is. Like, so a so far is basically someone who your, your power Maybe punch, right. say, will be yeah. your left hand. Yeah, 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 so a left handed so fighter. Like, is yeah, they figured yeah, out so because that's... you came out smelling your right finger. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> man! Yeah. He fingered no, and that's his right hand. <laughs> he it nice. And do you, do you write with your left hand? I do, yeah, I do. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, proper yeah. But I have terrible like. handwriting. Like, my writing is definitely the worst handwriting you've ever seen. I remember my daughter. I couldn't, I, like, are you sure maybe... you're not using the wrong hand? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, on a minute. Yeah. I remember my daughter asked me last year to help me with her homework. And I came in and said, You know what, Dad? I actually don't need your help. <laughs> and so like usually like you always hear about an orthodox fighter someone who's their good hand is the right hand or whatever yeah. they find sopas very awkward yeah, so that's yeah. the call right hand is orthodox, orthodox. yeah orthodox oh, yeah. Is, yeah. is yeah yeah why do they call so. it like not bar or something <laughs> you know what I've actually said that to someone before yeah. like yeah and yeah. when the two of us going to look at each other goes what the fuck are we supposed to know yeah, but it's weird yeah. like isn't it yeah, well anyway yeah. sorry I've been I don't know where I don't where so far really yeah. apparently but, uh, <laughs> but yeah they say like that a, a lot, an awful lot of orthodox fighters yeah. will find uh, a so far very awkward yeah but yeah. do you find it awkward when you come up against another sopa then? Um, no, I'm not your average sopa. Like, I suppose if you look at Lee and Petty, they're very good soap boxers. They're, they're very tactical and technical boxers, whereas mm. I'm just stand up in your face, throwing loads of punches, let's have it out. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and not saying that I can't box because I can move around and box, but I really enjoy the fighting aspect of it. Scrap. Like, I, I, I just, I'm, a, I'm an aggressive fighter, you know what I mean? So I, I'm not your average sopa, whereas like, Lee and Paddy are very, very good boxers and they, they use the sopa very, very well. Whereas I'm just, Eddie used to, Eddie Hyland used to kill me. He's like, you don't even box like a sopa. Are you sure you're even a sopa? <laughs> Move your bloody head. You know what I mean? Stop blocking the jab with your forehead. Like, you know what I mean? I should really take a leaf out of the boys' books and box a bit more, but I just, yeah. I just really enjoy going change, to war, man. Do not change your name so to the Celtic warrior. Ah, that's, I think that's taken by a couple yeah, of guys, you know. Gotta be original, man. Yeah. God. <laughs> but see, I know nothing about that. Did, uh, so. Didn't they used to call Michael Crute that, no? Yeah, yeah. No, Michael, I think Steve Collins was a Celtic Oh, it was Steve Jim. Collins. That's, yeah. the name of his, Steve. that's the name of his brother's gym as well, Celtic Warrior Jim, Scratch Jim, and Dublin. Yeah, so. I mix them up. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is from um, Boxing Bants. You did an interview with <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. They said, Will he ever entertain fighting at middleweight? No, I thought you were fighting at middleweight. No, I, f- I, fight at, I fight at light middle, so I super welter. So I super fight at 154 yeah. pounds. Um, just, you're a pound under, well, uh, yeah, you're a pound under middleweight, so, isn't it? Middleweight no, is 155. Middle, middle is 160. So that'd be six pounds oh, is it heavier. Jam? Yeah, so six I thought, pounds heavier. I thought middleweight was 155. So oh, yeah, like, what I, what I think of, of fighting the middleweight division, yeah, maybe, maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe, like, the thing, the thing I suppose for me, when I, when I cut that, so people I was asking, like, why do you cut so much weight? Like, I suppose, when I get in the ring, I rehydrate to like 77 kilos, like, you know, yeah, so I put on yeah. a lot of weight as I rehydrate, you know what I mean? So I, excuse me, I put a, I put on a lot of weight. So maybe as a middleweight, I wouldn't put on as much and I wouldn't have that effect in the ring as I, I do rehydrate pretty big and I'm, I'm pretty strong yeah, in there, yeah. like, you know, so. But you know what? It's, it's less weight to cut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's it. You so might. No, I, definitely, but, I definitely would. But as a witness. I've seen you cutting the weight and with bags on you and fucking yeah. on the steps and the sweat pumping out. Of you. Like, <laughs> you, like what you did ask, did I think it would be wise to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, Rocky, like Rocky running up along the steps, is it? No, I don't know. The steps in the gym. Like, oh. gym. I mean, gym. pockets of it coming out of him. Like, oh, I see in my Snapchat. I don't even yeah, look at him because yeah. it ruins my whole workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> look at that tosser up yeah. there. Yeah, why aren't I sweating? Yeah. No, but yeah, I definitely would play with that in the future. Right now, there's a couple of fights at middle I want 
there's a couple of guys in Ireland I want a light middle and once this fight is over I will be going down those avenues at light middle so yeah. for now I'll be staying at light middle there's always that danger like if you move up to the next one then you're probably going to be up against lads that are way that bigger are, that are cutting, exactly cutting down cutting, to that so there's no one kind of like I'm the big guy that's cutting down, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not saying yeah. I'm fucking Jack the Giant Killer or anything yeah, like that, like, but yeah. I, I am pretty big in there as a light middle because I rehydrate yeah. so well, like, I mean, I rehydrate exactly, so yeah. much well. I do put on a bit more weight going into the ring because yeah, you go yeah. and get a pizza after the win. I don't, I don't do it after the win. In <laughs> fairness, I, I wait till the fight's over. Yeah. yeah. I, eat, I eat fairly enough until the fight's over. Like, I do have a bit of maybe stuff I shouldn't have after yeah. the win, like, but man, I'm not messing, yeah? Like, I, I don't know if you've seen pictures of me, like, do, make doing the work like the last one. Noel took me in the Batman. It's so it's, it's crucial. Like yeah. I'm dehydrated, yeah. so like I'm like, give me everything, mm. give it to me yeah, fast, you know. Yeah. So it's the way cuts are tough, man. You know. Would you just like say after you've done your way, now would you just drink water, like or? Um, yeah, you kind of got to. You, you have to try and go rehydrate, but you also have to get the like the electrolytes, the electrolytes in back yeah, into your body. So like, asking, have a bit yeah. of pineapple juice and. Yeah. You know, a bit of fruit and stuff like that and get amino acids in you and vitamin C and stuff like that mm. just because your body is, is absolutely depleted. Yeah, like. For me fucking, anyway, for yeah. me personally, because I'm so fat outside the camp <laughs> <laughs> and I have to lose so much fucking weight, my body is depleted for the last couple of days man, because I'm I'm struggling so much to make the weight, like, mm. you know what I mean? And, and that's, I, I have no problem saying I do struggle to make the weight, but yeah, I still make it, like, you know what I mean? But it's, that's okay too I because think, he's not taking any performance and answers then for mm. weight to get Yeah, just to clear that I'm not taking yeah. any performance and <laughs> answers. But, but to make get extra weight <laughs> Yeah. so you're not yeah. doing as much damage to your body as yeah. you are just going up and down the weight naturally you yeah, know? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. do you okay. actually do you actually have to get um tested for that sort of thing in ireland like performance um i i there was a there was i won't say too much in it because i'm not sure how i'm supposed to award it <laughs> but there isn't that much uh drug tests in Irish oh, no. at the minute i well, think what if he went from the g <laughs> train to jumbo jet like yeah, 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 yeah 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 hold on a minute that train has gotten yeah. very big yeah. but uh no uh at the minute there there is a lot of drug tests in boxing and and yeah. as well there should be man i i personally think anyone that I takes drugs in boxing, especially performance and drugs in a sport where we kill it, where you can be killed. Yeah, because yeah, you can yeah. be killed in boxing, and people need yeah, to realize yeah, that yeah. it's a very, very dangerous sport. Mm. Every time we get in the ring, and I take my hat off to any fighter that gets in the ring, amateur, mm. professionally, anything at all, MMA, boxing, it's a dangerous game. Mm. Like it's you can yeah. you can be killed. And like it's even not if like there a was fucking um, a bodybuilding competition or, a soccer, or something, or a soccer match like or a rugby match. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not taking anything away from any athlete. I respect for every athlete, no matter mm. what level you're at. I respect for anyone that plays sport, but. You're putting your life in hand. So anyone that takes one of the hands, man, should be banned for mm. life. You know what I mean? But in Ireland, at the minute, it's not that strict in Ireland. I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I I haven't been tested yet anyway. Yeah. I'm five and all. Like I have never been drug tested. Like and like even for even for like if if somebody was taking those and they were getting beat in a fight and they they kept coming back when they shouldn't when they when they were actually mm. fucked like they, you know if they're fucking. Mind, I don't. I don't think dangerous for them as well. I don't, like. I don't think oh, yeah. um, there's any kind of signs you're taking like the performance answers that boxers take would be like. No, I, I am going to mention it's him, like, but I don't know anything about him. No, but I, I suppose I, I, I don't know. I've been in college. I, I, I do. The, I, I, I'm into fitness, so I know the things mm -hmm. like. So mm -hmm. you take like Klimbutra, Lanavar, and stuff. I don't think there's any real telltale signs that you're taking it for, unless you're really close to the athlete. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So unless you're being drug tested, you get away with it. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So you so so easy to get away with it, man. How you strict they are in that, like yeah. not very strict uh, yeah. in Irish boxing. I'd at the say though, anyway. if they did notice a change in your mood and all that, and a change in your whole physique, then maybe, yeah, yeah, mm. maybe then but someone if, would. But then again, stay in your normal self does mm. no. Then need again, to probably go, you know, going out to the fight, you'd probably be fucking wired anyway. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. So, so it's very hard to tell yeah, something exactly, like that. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? They're pulling off doors at the way, like don't know, put some fucking up with this guy, like you know what I mean? Like I think we should check him. Why he's choking? You know. I was yeah. watching a thing last night, uh, even wrestling, all the wrestlers, all the professional oh, yeah. wrestlers, even though that was not fully full contact and mm. it was all a big show, the amount of them that died of heart yeah. attacks uh -huh. in their 50s oh, yeah. is unbelievable. You know he, said? he was talking about wrestling, he said big show. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a big show. Yeah, but that's what it was. Yeah, it was that's, 100, that's a 100, mad 100 a film there. countdown of how really they died, watch about 70 death. of them. Mm. died from drugs in their 50s but it's, it's yeah. because of like the, the, the overdoses or suicide yeah. or heart attacks so remember that wrestler Chris Benoit mm. yeah. remember him he killed his family and yeah. they said it was oh, down to yeah, yeah, yeah. they said it, there's been there's been things now saying that it was maybe he had that CTE oh yeah yeah, which, yeah which a couple of American footballers have had I suppose I don't know if any yeah, seen that documentary people, recently man, sport. about the American football player who yeah, was killed me man Aaron inside? Hernandez Aaron yeah, Hernandez oh is that his name yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so so he came out he had CT yeah, the and killer inside it was called yeah yeah Mine so like they're saying like so a lot of concussions mm. which I guess yeah. but like <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, especially in American football time, like. but American football is you get a lot more concussions than any yeah, sport but, I think yeah. Yeah. a lot with so, all the serial killers brain damage yeah. brain damage CTE. has been linked yeah. to 
them actually their personality being oh, yeah, transformed it does. Like by it, that. It, it actually yeah. changes the way it changes I'd the way your brain steroid works. juice steroid juice would affect that as yeah. well mm-hmm. somewhat. Oh, yeah. and I'd say a lot of them, like a lot of the high athletes in American football I'd say, have, a lot of them have been caught for taking mm-hmm. for juice mm-hmm. like, you know I mean, did, it's, um, not, it's not a it's not a a uh, hidden effect thing but as Lee Evans so. said let him take him yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tommy Tiernan's one was the best like drug testing at the, Olympi- at the Olympics he said I think we should just get rid of it I, if a fella wants to run the 100 metre sprint in two seconds I said let him <laughs> <laughs> I, like it. I want to see how he slows down before he gets to the bendy bit now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did oh, fucking so like, Kurt Angle or something do something mad as well no I'm just imagining he's done a real mad suplex one time with the guy <laughs> <laughs> I don't know man I, I, I don't know I, why I, I that name is after coming into my head but there's a good yeah. film there with um can't remember the name of the actor. It's really or Mick, Mickey Rourke in the. It's called the Wrestler. Oh, yeah. It's really oh, yeah, good yeah. look at the inside yeah. of that. Like you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tough crazy. Yeah, any 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 sport man where you, Ooh. you know, it's 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 a lot of peer pressure in sport man where like some guys will go like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, I will take this. It is going to yeah. fucking help me. You know, so there's a lot of peer pressure. You know what I mean? Especially man, I think if you feel like everyone around you is doing it, then yeah, you're at a yeah, massive yeah, disadvantage. Yeah. You're like, man, fucking hell, how am I meant to See the influence in the gym. Mm. You have to witness it. I see it the whole time mm. over there. They're there two days and they're already wishing themselves to be big. Like mm. insecurities yeah. is the biggest thing with it. Yeah, yeah. And then to yeah. see the heavyweights making the most money and all that as well. That has to be an incentive yeah, yeah. too. There's, there's always something. I mean, that, that brings us back to what we talking about a while ago, I suppose, that yeah. it's a kind of a self esteem thing, man, where it's like, mm. oh, I want to do, I need to do better than them. I need, mm. I, I need that, I need that feeling. I need to feel like that because they're not happy with who they are themselves. Mm. And that's when you look outside of yourself yeah. and look and, oh, I'm going to do this to be better. I'm going to do this to be better. And I need him to tell me I'm doing great. And that's, I suppose, where it comes in. I, I yeah, think. Yeah. And what, um, for somebody, no, because I know from, like, I joined, uh, I joined the gym, what's it called? It used to be JJB. What's it called? Planet Health. Planet it? Health, yeah, yeah. I joined that fucking a couple of years ago. I literally went in one day and I did I, I did, I did a bit of cardio. <laughs> Get that burning feeling feel in your chest. In the gym and I got that burning feeling. Hey, guys. Day. And the following day, I went in and I went into the pool and then I just never went back because I, yeah. like, I just felt like a dope going in there. Well, that's what the friends were. That's what the friends were. Chandler, and Chandler tries to leave the gym. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I really want to leave the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I don't know. I, I don't remember that one. End but up signing I'd up for another few months. For somebody who, who doesn't really know what they're doing going into the gym, like, have any fucking advice for what um, you're supposed to do? Because you, know, you, know, you feel like a bit of a fool like when you first go in there. But everyone know does. You know, you do. Everyone, Unless yeah. was, you know, you know, don't, don't, don't worry. ask for help. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, if you're in the gym, man, you know, I try and, a couple of people have asked me, not nah, get the normal box or anything. Just mm. have, oh, can you help me with this? Or can you help me? Uh, yeah, of course. You know what mm. I mean? And ask for help, man. Ask, mm. ask the people who work in the gym. Like, I give a big shout out to the lads that work in Functional Fitness where one of my sponsors, Noel and Evan mm. Brophy, and the lads that work over in Grove Oil, another one of my gym sponsors. Mm. Very, very helpful. I know, uh, Studio One Fitness, another one of my, my, my gym sponsors, all the lads are really helpful. Like, mm. so I suppose, it is very intimidating to walk yeah, into yeah, a gym, yeah. man. hundred percent it is, especially for the first time, man. Mm. Walk into a gym and you're like, oh god, you know. But go in and ask for help. You know what I mean? You're not mm. going to know. It's like anything in life. If you don't mm. ask for help, you're not going to receive the help. Mm. And you're never going to learn and grow. You know. So go in and but, talk to a couple of people. Because there's you definitely know? there's definitely people in my position like that who just walked into a gym, started trying to do things and think, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not doing, I'm not doing this right. And, and, and you feel, of, of course, man. And and, just, and and it's going to turn you away from any yeah. any gym, man. It's mm. like anything. And the funny thing about it is like. The best lads task on just the bodybuilding side of it is the Polish lads. Mm. I tell you, you <laughs> yeah. wouldn't think it, but they're the best lads. They're as just well. sound to. Yeah, they'll the, give you advice yeah, yeah, yeah. on that. Like, you Especially know, if you can speak Polish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fluent. Russell's yeah. fluent. Yeah. 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 I look Polish. like one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you said it at me. No, but like, I've got good advice over the years off of yeah. like, you know, anyone will. Mm. Anyone will. Because if one thing you do, it's a sociable kind of place as well. Mm. You might see on the movies lads are in there and they're all pumping and everything is serious mm. it's not like yeah but you ever see the, pi- the videos like and videos and pictures of, t- of people using machines backwards and things like that like their head is in on the weights are fucking <laughs> that's all in front of that's all in front of the camera but you go in there you'll find a lot of lads are just in there to get away from their wives yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're in there feeling like everyone's looking at you really no one gives a fuck about you no, no one cares and what you're doing there. Like, like I said especially in like leisure centres like Grove Island is one of my sponsors and all the lads that work there are absolutely amazing like mm. and you know, for anyone that is intimidating in a gym, any gym you walk into, man, just, just ask the workers for help because that's what you're there for. And yeah. all of them, especially the lads in, like I said, the lads in Functional Fitness are very helpful. And the lads in Grove Island are very, very helpful. I mm. see them day in, day out, helping people out. You know what I mean? They're great lads to work. So, like, anyone that's intimidating in a gym, you know, anyone sat in a gym, just ask for the help, man. I You'll suppose, get it. you know what I mean? Even if, you did, even if you did ask one of the staff members in the gym, like, you know, I need a bit of a help or whatever, and... Mm. Any lads here would be good to ask. And yeah,
if you're yeah. deciding to study on something and walking in and just trying to mm. figure it all out for yourself, you're mm. not. You're going to ask the mm. tutor mm. what to do. Like you, mm. it's the same thing. But when it comes to the <laughs> gym, what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> but when it comes again? to the gym and masculinity and all that, lads <clears throat> yeah, and yeah. boys get intimidated because that's what's flying. Yeah, and they don't want to look stupid. Yeah, yeah. Is here? Can you? That's for one second. Like it's over here, boy. I only because I only fucking saw it in my. I was going in, what was I doing? I was doing something with a direct debit and my fucking, oh yeah, my old insurance company, I was just cancelling direct debit from that just in case they tried to take anything and fucking I spotted my um my Planet Health membership in yeah, yeah. direct debit. So I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> you was doing, to fucking, yeah, I literally went in once, like on a Monday, I went into the gym and on Tuesday I went into the pool. Hmm. Never went back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a door. I'd love to get him into the gym. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Happens a lot. Yeah, we were on about that actually. We yeah, yeah, we were supposed to do a video or something. Yeah, old training gym. session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kill me while on the gym. <laughs> the partner's decision is back. <laughs> Graham, it's yeah. burning. Drink stay a sip of water. Stay off that amber leaf. <laughs> <laughs> amber leaf, yeah. That was actually one question. It wasn't even a question. It was uh, Krakora Mike said, bring back amber leaf 12.5 gram packs when he wins a world title. So I will, but <laughs> for you, I don't know how you're going to do that, but for you, I'll bring them back. Ah, sure, right. Have a bit of pull with the world title, you know. I believe. <laughs> I oh, the you minister think, for <laughs> health, you need to get on today. Yeah, yeah, don't do the crowd that, that sells the unbelief and just square up them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey! I'm telling hey, you, hey. swinging the title, telling you no, bring them back. <laughs> um, you don't, yeah, you don't smoke. Um, no, 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 no. Fucking hell! I say it must be fair hard for people who do. You obviously know people who do yeah, fucking like, professional athletes, uh, yeah. not many. But there's no? Paddy. Yeah. Paddy runs marathons and he smokes. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and he yeah, doesn't yeah, eat right yeah. either. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> genuinely. Yeah. I was he's, used, he's used to running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but some people are just made for it. It yeah, all depends yeah, yeah, on yeah. how you wear mechanically. Yeah. Genetic freaks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like, like that. And yeah. if Paddy's I'm listening, not one of those I wish I was a freak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is um only the last kind of bullshit question as well. Where's he gone? John Murphy said, would you prefer to fight two McGregor sized ducks or 10 duck sized McGregors? Two McGregor sized ducks, man. I reckon the two McGregor sized ducks are definitely. Jeez. 10 of them are like, <laughs> fuck, yeah, man, ten, ten, 10 ducks. There's two massive ducks, ten, though. Yeah, what's 10 small? Or 10 little McGregors that are only the size of ducks. And they all come in after each other. Going across oh, the pond. Yeah. Imagine oh, yeah. oh, you do fucking nothing. You never have to the whole lot of them. Like, want, at least you can hit the big duck your body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, you would have to take straight up kickboxing. I was just going to say straight away, my mind went to kicking. Like, I was just yeah, yeah. pulled them across the road. Oh, I can't, Doug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, yeah, yeah can't do the boxing. I tell so you. He can't, so he can't, the duck can't kick me either. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> joke's can, on him. Ask him, ask the fellow who asked the question, can it be a tag team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I joke. Because actually, yeah, because if you're following the rules of boxing, then technically the duck can only use their wings. Yeah, yeah. Do you know so what? They can't peck you. Bring on the yeah. two big ducks. Yeah. <laughs> they can't peck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no kisses, <laughs> so they can't peck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Imagine yeah. on the post, or you're they're pausing fucking like this, and he's doing the duck fest. <laughs> 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 The girls who these days, oh, my God! Fucking love, cap on yourself, will you? Put your lips back in your mouth. It's madness, like in that. Oh man! You know him when he's thinking over there now. Why he's going home and he's going to do a meme yeah, about that? No, like I always, I've always said it, man. Like you, you would imagine that like girls do that pose to look more attractive. Like if they're trying to look more attractive to fellas, I've yet to meet one fella who thinks that's attractive. Like no, if I saw a girl, no, if I saw a girl, no, she had about one hundred and fifty quid in her hand she was just standing there like yeah. this. I think fine but that's better, right, for yeah. me yeah, but like you know I mean, I'm always my woman so yeah. I'm not going to follow up but I just I was going to say there <laughs> <laughs> yeah but duck face went out yeah. as soon as they started getting the lip fillers they don't remember want to do it anymore still do, you remember, do you remember when they started to put their lips in the bottles yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. my god like, yeah they're oh, fucking what's wrong with these people like, yeah they're getting stuff um, that has the same shit that's in a bee's thing and put that you hear that yeah, and yeah. It's, no it's like um like a lip band, but it has stuff mm. on it that makes your lips fucking swell mm. out. It's a new thing, though, isn't Jesus. it? Yeah. Lips. The name of this episode can be called Weird. Boxing and Lip Fillers. <laughs> <laughs> boxing and Lips After You. <laughs> or Boxing and Lips After You. Mm. So, as we'll have to ask you anyway, what did you make of the last Wilder Fury fight? Oh, man, what a fight. What a man Tyson Fury is. Like, he's, Some he's, story, like, oh, it's unbelievable, man. What a story as well, of course. And where, like, he's, where he's come from, the mental health yeah. troubles and the, to all the problems he had to where he is now. Like, but, like, for me, like, like, Obviously, I get to box, but I'm a massive boxing fan before anything else. Like, I love the sport. Like, I love boxing. Like, to witness that man in my era, like, that's the best heavyweight win for my era, anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't alive for Muhammad Ali's wins and stuff like that. Like, 
Yeah. That was unbelievable, man. Yeah, what a win. Like, he beat the Belgesus out of yeah. the Wilder. Like, the man was feared, like, and Fury just beat him up. Like, yeah, that was mm. it. He's probably the most feared boxer on the ah. planet. Like, and just the end was puncher. Like, yeah, what at the end was puncher. So like, fucking hard. Fury man. beat him around like he was nothing. Like, yeah. And it was, that was amazing. Like, just, to have that mentality. Like, you know what I mean? And look, one of our own was in his corner, Andy Lee. Mm. Paddy was over the train room. You know what I mean? That's, that's great for Limerick as well. Like, you know what I mean? And, oh, man, it was just amazing watching him do that, man. And, he, and you know what? It's incredible. He said he was going to do it. Like, yeah, yeah. Didn't I didn't go, believe it. He actually said, like I'm yeah. going to go out and I'm going to knock this fellow out like mm. yeah. and he did like yeah. you know I, mean? I didn't amazing, like, like when he was saying that in the lead up to it I was like ah, he's only saying that I'll he's be honest gonna, man I, 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 I found it hard to call like I usually I usually would back boxing like I throw a few good in the boxing like not mm. massive amounts of money but I usually would and Anthony actually rang me that day I was probably going to put money on and thinking I said nah I'm not backing it tonight yeah. I just want to see how much it mm. yeah I, I like, heard bastard, I should have backed this <laughs> someone said to me that um, Fury was 30 to 1 to win he was, he was 33 to 1 to knock him out in the 7th round Oh, no he was way. five to one to knock him out. But I, I, I was watching some York the other day, I was reading some Yorks on boxing balls. A fella in England had five hundred sterling on him to knock him out in the seventh round. Ah, uh, three to one he got it. Uh, handy. Hell, fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah what about Lee Reeves last night? Unlucky for him as well. Yeah, yeah. that was a sick yeah. moment. Yeah. That was yeah. like yeah. fucking. There was basically one punch in it. Like the way I see it, it was that yeah. one he'll shot bounce, that he got caught with. Like, he'll bounce back from that man. I mean, oh. he's a great yeah. kid. He's a good boxer. And he's you know he's good at his shoulders. He'll bounce back from that. He seems. Like, you know he seems like he's exactly. Yeah. He seems like he has his head screwed on anyway. Boxing. <clears throat> So boxing that, can change if I can go knock all your way man exactly. you know what I mean but look he, he will bounce back from yeah. come back oh, 100%. stronger he'll you know stay I mean? motivated like he yeah. put up fucking oh, videos yeah, not yeah, after yeah, yeah. 100% he's a yeah, great kid man. he's, he's a already kid. he's already talking about his next fight like mm. yeah. so yeah, look, that's a good sign this, it, all, all that is man it, look is a blip in the road that's all and that's he's exactly. overcome that and come back I mean. I, I, like people always say it man it's very cliche to say it but a lot of times like in sports like that a last can be the best thing that happens mm. to Listen, man, people, like, if you look at all the greatest fighters that ever retired there's only one fighter that I can think of that, that everyone knows that retired undefeated Mayweather yeah. no one else can do that everyone else Mayweather was a freak last. of absolute oh, nature yeah. like people mm, don't respect Mayweather for who he was in my opinion like, oh, fucking he duck fights one of the great for me anyway he's the greatest fighter of my era I, I would say he's the exact absolutely same. unbelievable so everyone's like oh you gotta say you don't understand undefeated man yeah. you, that, that's a lot of bollocks Muhammad Ali had five losses yeah five or six losses I think still five, one of the greatest five because like, I was at a quiz yeah. that night and that was hey, hey. <laughs> listen man losses don't define your career man you know what I mean don't define your career Larry's will be back better and bigger and better than before after after yeah. last night, man, hundred percent. You know what oh, I mean? All the fucking greats of last man and just came back yeah. better, like so yeah, hundred percent. But yeah, uh, like you were saying, man, Mayweather, I'd agree with that. I've always said oh. he's the best. Without Unbelievable, doubt, man. Like. See, people, the, way, the way I'd always say it to people is like, if you don't think Mayweather is the best boxer, like or was when he was fighting or whatever, yeah. like if you were to take a child now and train him to box better than Mayweather, like. Yeah. What are you going to teach see, him to do better than he does? Like? Yeah, because people boxing was never like because no, thank God the social media. Sports is way more mainstream than yeah, it ever was, yeah. and I suppose in Mayweather's glory days, he was knocking everybody over. Yeah. People were like, oh, he boxes, he runs. The game is fucking called boxing. It's hit and don't yeah, be hit. Exactly, it's not called yeah. standing and get the head punch off you. Yeah. I should be taking a leave of my own book and not <laughs> yeah. do that. But Mayweather was, was fucking phenomenal. Like, in genius. his early days, man, he, he was, was knocking he was everybody over. Everyone, yeah. Like, like he, like he, he gave Arturo Gaddy yeah. one, uh, and then Morseville hiding. And Arturo yeah. Gaddy is known for being one of the toughest boxers yeah, of all time. Yeah. Like, and Mayweather destroyed him. Like, so like I think. Because of social media and because Mayweather's last few fights, he boxed and, and won the fights yeah. without getting hit too much. But People this, are like, ah, oh, he, he runs and... Do you know yeah, they said that, that was because, like, um, a long time ago, his hands started getting fucked up. He broke, yeah, he his, broke hands his hands a few hands. times yeah, and yeah, all that, yeah. so he'd laugh a lot of trouble. Yeah. But he was so good that he was able to still oh, fight on. What a boxer, just, just not, not, just, he was just kind of like, I'm going to stop. you know, because I wouldn't like to oh, see him yeah. do a whole, like, cause I, I love Roy Jones Jr., great fighter, but an, another boxer that stayed on too long, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Lost a lot of fights because it's yeah. not too long, like you know. Muhammad Ali over it, sure. mm. yeah, well, yeah. Actually, his daughter, his daughter, now at the minute, are talking about her coming back. She's fought, you know, Leila Ali. She retired undefeated. Very, very good fighter. Yeah. Very, very good boxer. No, she's not as good as her dad, like you know what I mean. But <laughs> very, very good fighter. For and one of the first women, big women boxers was a, was a was a was a big kind of pay per view pull because because of her name. But there's a, an American boxer, Clarissa Shields, is after Colin Rhodes. So I can't know if she doesn't come back because yeah. of the story of her dad. Like, you know what I mean? Came back and, mm. you know, took classes that he shouldn't have took. You know what I mean? Exactly, I wouldn't like yeah. to see her come back and do the same kind it's of thing. It's money, you know I mean? but it was oh, all about the lot. money. Same that's with that. Happened. That's what happened to my father, Marks, yeah. Even with Tice at that time, like, I remember he came mm. back and he fought at Aubrey and he lost. And afterwards, yeah, he yeah. was like, look, I'm not going to disrespect the sport of boxing by coming back mm. anymore. He said, like, mm. I've. I've I'm just done like he like said I just needed the money he said it's scary, scary man like yeah, in his prime no one was beating him in his prime mm. I don't care what any
that Man. because he put out that video saying that he would have beat Tyson. How disrespectful like, is that? Really look at Tyson. Who, who did he beat really and all this kind of shit he was And saying. Tyson would have killed him in the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, he was Definitely. made. Fellas like him are made for fellas like But that's Tyson. like, he got exposed there against Fury. Like the skill, the technical skill like and everything. Like Fury was, he was okay. just good enough Fury's to, give, Fury's he was just good enough to fucking um, cancel out his right hand. Do you know what I mean? And that's it. He had not. The bully, the bully like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Phenomenal, like, mm. but yeah, I don't know. You have to be careful who you're talking shit about, like, in the box and world, like, yeah, 100%. <laughs> look, they People had the one that Mike Tyson, Tyson that was sort of respectful, like, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Only all like, wankers in the world, chief. <laughs> That's it, Fuck so, boxing. yeah, yeah. Fucking boxing. You were saying there about Muhammad Ali's daughter. Mm. I was watching, uh, I was watching a show on Netflix, the prison, you see that? The the prison, prison one? yeah, I've seen oh, it. She's yeah. a head off, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she is, yeah. Does it, that was madness. There's a show where they get, um, just average people to go into the jail to kind of see what's going on and they're behind the scenes. He doesn't watch movies, but yeah Muhammad Ali's daughter was one of them yeah. and she was sitting down inside in the fucking room in where they're all sitting around like and next thing the fucking news comes on a story about Muhammad Ali pictures uh, of him and she's sitting there absolutely shitting and thinking I hope a so picture like, like the people a family can't find picture it's oh, you know? yeah, actually a good show man she's a different seven name seven or eight of them aren't they yeah. going like, at different times like two yeah. groups and even the group of people that go in don't know so, like there'll be two in the one the one landings there they don't know that they're that they're, that they're in yeah. the show do you get me mm. yeah. so they, they're like I'm a prisoner, but I'm not really a prisoner. You're a prisoner, but they don't know. Do yeah, you know what I mean? so, but it's yeah. fucking mad as well. Like they give, they give the full see names. The man that went in, the the with, guy who was trying to put his legs up. <laughs> oh, like, I hope someone hits him with something today. Yeah, man, a knob, he, Chucky. He was meant to be some sort of an actor or some shit. Man, like that. he was a knob. They were, they were like, uh, and and how do you find the prison system? He's like. Absolutely perfect. But he went in and like there was real dodgy fellas like yeah, and he was, chop that guy up, man. He was chop that guy it. up. He was shitting it, so he got moved to fuck what segregation or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And he's inside him and he was like literally just lying down for fucking two days and all like that, like and not eating his food and yeah. or no, he was he was pigging out on the food just and he was like, I love it in here. I'm having the time of my he life. Was a real nab, his food. Man, just being pure. Just like one of them fellas Weirdo. who comes out of prison. Oh, it was great, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. all know he, he, he was wishing he was <laughs> I've been there. That's Lois. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Crying. Oh, be honest, like. <clears throat> yeah, fucking. Um, what else is going on out there? That's this fucking. Um, the coronavirus. The coronavirus. Yeah. The first confirmed case of the coronavirus in. In Dublin. Did they say it, did they say it was Dublin? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's in the East, but. They're yeah. in no, they, they came out no saying so they, never said, <laughs> <laughs> they never said what county. Yeah, but they never said what county. You know that's where the, the word news comes from. Never East shredded wheat. No, North East West South. Like I compass. thought it was because news is like the new things that are that are happening. Like nah, nah, it's from <laughs> what's the compass, news, like. man? I never even thought about things that you know like that. Because well. I just thought the word news means like all the new things that are happening, mm. like news. But news. this is what made me laugh. What's going on around you? Hi, North East West. This is hilarious. This. Iran's deputy health minister test positive as outbreak worsens. He turned around and he said he didn't believe in quarantine and he didn't uh, believe in no, all of it, the big hype of it. And next minute he gets it. No, it was the minute the actual conspiracy theory. The actual health minister was there giving a speech. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> the actual health minister was there giving a speech and he was like, oh, it's okay. We, you know. Where it's all safe, blah, blah, blah. And his deputy was standing up beside him, sweating buckets, wiping himself with a fucking towel. Oh. And it turns out then after the interview, they found out that his, the deputy health minister has the fucking coronavirus. Yeah, but who was around? Yeah. I think about who it? was around arguing with a few months ago? Me? <laughs> Trump? Trump, yeah. Not a mean, Do you know what I think about sense. it? Let's get, I think, oh, what are they, what are they trying to take something? our minds off of with this? What's actually going on? Oh, in he's into an old conspiracy theory. Uh, Trumps, yeah. Trumps are going to go up again. Oh, champs, I bet you champs are going to go up again. Mind champs. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? And they're going to so bring reckon, it back smileys. You reckon this whole coronavirus is just a smoke screen I'm for something else? I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying like... It's a distraction. Is, the is there something else going on? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> the fucking yeah. could be. I bet you, I guarantee you, the price of champs is going to rise again mm. and fret us. No, but they've crippled gross. economies already. Some uh, stock markets have crashed already. Apparently I've seen something today that China has, China has less pollution now than I've ever had because of this. Uh, something. Yeah, but there's not, yeah. there's not as much less work going on. Yeah, yeah, because sure. uh, industrial work is not happening. Even the, fact, even the port, out. even the port, um, all the containers coming in, like there's not as much containers. They're a bit mm. literally ready to fucking like, stop. Do you realise the amount of money that's been oh, missing yeah. over that? So they reckon then that'll cause another recession. Mm. Yeah. And if there's one thing, that's what they do. They don't go into countries anymore with tanks and all that. It's to cripple their economies. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And that's what's all about. And then him turn around saying that, a random of all countries, the only influential person that got it was an Iranian politician. Mm. 
and uh, health minister t- then, I, I know I so just, people will be like if he can get it yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. he's not even healthy yeah. it's all, it's all ah, very common liar it? if he yeah. can get it then I can get it fucking Illuminati I'm starting to believe I tell you this I, 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 I'm, I'm a conspiracy like I'm, I'm not <laughs> but I do read into yeah. a lot of them, man. Well, uh, a lot of them, I'm like, and you know how to thing up saying you ring them all the time man, conspiracy and theories. And <laughs> I, I, I started doing the flotation things, right, which are absolutely amazing. Oh, I'd like, man. I'd like to do them. Patrick Barry runs the place outside, lads. He's, I'd like to give him a big mention. He's In an Limerick. absolute legend of a guy. Yeah, on Castle Troy. I'd, I, I, I'd, I'd suggest anyone to do them. Oh, man, I'm mad to try one. I didn't try know they had them there. Get, about a few yeah, for anyone, tanks. yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, they're, uh, it's a sensory deprivation tank, isn't it? Yeah, so it's yeah. like a big pod that you go into yeah. and it's basically filled with water that's As heated, it's it's heated, yeah, it's heated to the same temperature, temperature as yeah. your skin. So, it's when like you're in there, Boston when you're in there, it's pitch black. You can't <laughs> see anything. You can't hear anything, and it's like you're floating. Like, yeah, isn't it? His you can't, place feel, is you called could, you can't feel the water. You, no, you can't. It's, um, it's, it's I can't explain how great it is. Like I said, it's true. Like, out, but it, it's called balanced float rooms. I like to give it a big mention. It's a my man that owns it. Patrick is an absolute gent of a man. He, it's he's real, you real good. Nice were tripping coming out of it. Real, I, I, do, I yeah. thought it was absolutely. It was one of the best experiences I've had in my life. What was I've it? What's it for? Relaxation? Is it? I hope his wife is not listening. Married, married, and my beautiful kids being born. No, but, like, but they say they say it's great for athletes, like for recovery and stuff like man. that, because it's the only kind of position that you can get yourself into where you're not supporting yourself yeah. at all. Like and even you're if you're like, even if you're lying down on the bed, you're still kind of supporting it, yourself. Yeah, man, it your was muscles a, have to work. Your body's but, just kind like yeah. You're floating like it's a, it's How long you for? You're in the actual tank for an hour. Yeah, but you know, before I went in, right, like Anthony, Anthony was giving me a second, and my mate Paul Coy, we were at my house, we were watching videos of it, and Joe Rogan has one in his house, ah, yeah, right. Yeah. So like Rogan is like, man, I smoked this before I quit and this happened. And so I was like, I don't want to quit. I'm people freaked out inside New York, yeah. like you know. So, but well, when I went in, man, so like after about ten or after, so you go in, you you, you close down the York and, top, yeah. and yourself, the room is locked, and you get into the tank, and you close on. You're the naked. Tank, so, yeah, you're naked oh, in yeah. the tank. Can right? I ask you one honest question yeah, between yeah. all of us, just yeah. only us? No. And everyone else watching. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you knock one out? There? <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't knock one out. No. Someone else has oh, to use it. Jesus, Ross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He brings Floating around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He brings everything back to wanking. A few people had it. I said it the last time. So <laughs> like, how long were you in there in terms of wanks? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but once, once you're in, you're in there in about 10, 15, for me anyway, 10, 15 minutes, man, my mind kind of lets me Relax. So first of all, you're kind of like, oh, yeah. okay, what's going on here? Getting mm. used to it, man. And, oh. and once you get in the zone, man, it's just fucking unbelievable. I can't, I actually can't explain what the feeling is like, yeah. but it's unreal. I remember I came out and Patrick said to me, well, did you fall asleep? I said, to be honest, I don't know what happened. And yeah. he said, man, you got it. And I actually don't know. Like, it was just, I can't yeah, wait to go back and do them again. They say like it has a, like you're completely deprived of all your senses. Mm. Like Anyone that has never anxiety that. or depression, I suggest giving this a go, man. Mm. And also anyone that trains and, you know, anyone at all is just giving it a go. Hour? Um, it's 60 euro oh, nice. but it's well yeah. worth it like you're out there for an hour and 20 minutes old, uh, Patrick and Drew show and, and he explains to you how it works and everything and he's a really really cool guy to be around he's a real good vibe real yeah. positive guy and real nice guy to chat to but it's just it's an amazing I can't wait to go back yeah, I'm definitely definitely, weekend, definitely doing it man. Uh, I, I, I think if you give him a, if, you give, if you add him on, on Instagram it's Balanced Floor Rooms on Facebook it's, it's Balanced Floor Rooms and just give him a text he'll answer your back man it's it's well worth it, lads. Mm-hmm. I would suggest so you can't, you can't oh. see or hear or smell or oh, you, nothing inside it. You, you, you can't, you can, there's lights in the tank as well. Okay. Like it's, it's, um, you can turn the lights on and turn the lights off. Um, turn them off the fuck. Yeah, I, 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 I leave on, there's a, there's a, there's a couple of different color lights I leave on one because it looks cool. You can leave on music or leave it off. I like to leave on the meditation music. I like to meditate oh, yeah. anyway, so it's, it's really cool. Oh, man. I'd, I'd like, I'd cool, like to man. try it, man. Pitch darkness, no sound. It's anything. class. It's, like, it's absolutely class. You should give it a go, man. It's, yeah, it's see really what happens good, man. to your mind. Like, if you can't see anything, can't hear anything, yeah. can't feel anything, it's like, unreal. It's, like, give him a text. Give it, give, add the page, balance floor rooms, give him a text. Come up with this remedy. I'm not Where's it original? I don't know where uh, fucking Joe Rogan Richard. anyways Joe yeah. Rogan is the one who made him fucking I famous I said it was an Asian like. thing man if one thing I think Patrick Asian, said it was, all that it was uh, I don't know I'm very bad memory I, like, so I'm not saying I don't know but I don't know well, my memory is really <laughs> bad he did explain to me what my memory saw but I can't remember exactly what but I would suggest anyone to go out and give it a yeah, go you're so there, chat with him and and you're just thinking you're on it. let me into your let me into your <laughs> <laughs> and he's like I need to tell you this before you yeah. win okay let me yeah. in they're absolutely unreal man unreal it's out in Castle Troy just down there you know where the New kind of industrial set is in Castle Troy. Down where Tree is and stuff like that, is it? Yeah, yeah, and Troy past, Studios. Past and all. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the old Dell used to be. Yeah, yeah, down there, down there, yeah, yeah. Class, that's it's class, yeah. man. It's, give it a go, lads. It's unbelievable. You won't yeah. be disappointed. It's well, unbelievable. Come up, a couple of, of my mates, yeah, mates a couple of my mates have went out there and they've te- like,
Yeah. Did you ever see the episode of Probably. Simpsons where Homer does it? Yeah, yeah. He's in the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's shooting yeah. balls. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's well. kind of mm. pretty much. He's only out there like. two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. He was singing that song. Ooh, Do you reckon he's a oh, time, yeah. you reckon he's a time traveller, the Simpsons guy? Because like oh, even man. the coronavirus, <laughs> we were talking about that on this thing has come out like it's fucking madness. Yeah, it was yeah. a similar kind of a thing. Like, see, people photoshopped it and they're sending a meme around with coronavirus written on the screen. Oh, so that was next. I thought it was actually oh, no, no, no. the one where. Oh, God. Do you remember the one where they're on a production line and they're over in China or something like that? And Japan one fella was, yeah. was it? We'll one fella's coughing up a lung and mm. he says to the other fella, "Please don't tell the boss that I am sick." And I listen, and he was like, "Okay," and he coughs into the box, closes up the box. And then I think Principal Skinner opens it, and when he opens it, it, then comes, around, it comes out, it yeah, comes around. Yeah. So that's basically what they were saying. Like, ah, is like oh, I still think he's a time traveler. So yeah. like, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, that's freaky. Like. Did you see that video about him? Yeah, yeah. yeah all the things, all the things. Hell. Like, but did you see? Remember there a few weeks ago, we were joking about that they were saying they were eating meat of bats and all that, and that's what caused it. The virus. Oh, it but now it's originating other countries and all that. They don't think that's. Yeah, it's they weird, can't man. pinpoint they were saying, it how it started. They were saying that they're trying to where like eating fucking dogs' balls and fucking yeah. there's yeah, children eating. But I seen a child eating one soup with these little blackness around, and the mother's trying to get the blackness around. I'm like, I can barely get my mouth to eat porridge. Do my fucking, <laughs> <laughs> my fucking black slugs. <laughs> 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 I told my child, hey, you fool, I'll have the ball out of your head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't trust any of those things. Like, you see all, all the shit that came out about um, the swine flu the last time, even. Like, mm-hmm. like there was, like, experts like that analysed that, like, and they said, like, this looks like it was put together by someone in a yeah. lab. Like, yeah. My missus, my, 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 <laughs> uh, my wife's best mate is a nurse. Um, and uh, Keo, will you give her a mention? My wife, Lauren, the best woman in the planet. <laughs> and our friend Keo is a nurse. She, she, she's just, like, it's just like a really advanced flu kind of thing yeah, like, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean it's not as serious as men out to be but then I'm like that's what yes, I heard definitely fucking trying to hide it's something it's survival of the fittest it's <laughs> only the real sick real badly elderly uh, and elder, sick people yeah, are people already with yeah, a weak yeah. immune system the flu is killing people mm. all year oh, way, yeah. way more than this do you know yeah. what I mean it's just not highlighted I see, I see the thing today I was running after it's like yeah you're all running for coronavirus but only wear condoms and it yeah. 90,000 people have yeah. AIDS well, like, yeah, you know what I mean I saw when the coronavirus kind of first started coming out they were saying to avoid sexual contact with animals Ah, oh, for fuck's no, sake! No, yeah. like other than that, though, yeah, <laughs> I know. It'd be grand otherwise. It'd be all right. Yeah, yeah. like, oh, I'm sick. You're right, the good. <laughs> How'd you know? Is that the theory about AIDS? Like that someone had sex with a monkey? Yeah, that's, that's, that's how it. Yeah, yeah. That's how it started. Yeah, yeah. But I actually fucking heard the real story behind it there recently, and I can't remember it now. Did monkey man, tell you? <laughs> um, was, ooh, ooh, I told you that. <laughs> I think it was a tribe actually that they were eating monkeys or something like that. Yeah, that they, they're it, probably just met someone miss her. Like, yeah, I was eating a monkey. Like, Why wow, he was a fake in a monkey? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but how yeah, did it like get that. spread so fast then? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah, it's weird though, man. Like, fucking, suspicious. which this, this now or AIDS? AIDS, AIDS as well. AIDS, yeah, like, I like, don't know, for sure that wasn't that long ago, but AIDS either. There's no theory around saying, like, back in like, the 80s, they released it. Like, where it was being spread very Yeah, but they spread it around as well to try and kill off certain uh, populations, you know That's what they say, yeah. yeah that's, that's, still, uh, that's still a conspiracy theory. Uh, so I, I, put up, I put up some random posts on his Facebook and people are like, he's mad. I do put up some random stuff and I'm like, come on, I was like, who are they? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. what they say. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. they told you on the I'm like, yeah. who's I'd love to meet this day, guy? <laughs> who's the friend? I'm gonna kick his ass. Yeah. Who is he? Like, who's they this? They said this is bad. They said you. that's bad. They, they said if you do that, no, you're gonna be. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, did they? I tell that the fuck yeah. off. Like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Nelly had a song about him actually on the same, the same, the same. So like, <laughs> that could be the same day. Like, it's them day. It's could definitely be them. them day. I reckon it's all Donald Trump. So we we'll blame him. Someday you'll find out. Who dare? I guarantee yeah. you, as soon as Trump is re-elected, we won't hear no more about coronavirus. I don't know. He hasn't said much about mm. it already, has yeah, he? Yeah, well, he did yesterday. He came out yesterday. Yeah. Was saying uh, that they pulled out of uh, Afghanistan. Only thing he's ever pulled out of. <laughs> yeah. And he wiped, there's, uh, it. He wiped There's it. been a few of them in the last while, though. There's the fucking the Ebola virus was supposed to kill oh. us all as well. The swine mm. flu was supposed to kill us all. I'm Do you reckon they the are they saying it's going to kill us like this, this corona no, thing? I don't know. Just, like, they're just all panic. I'll get myself ready now like it's going to... Like all I've heard really is that like they're working on a, a way to fucking cure it and keep it quarantined and all this bollocks. But like I think something else that they want to have a, a vaccine for a year. But I keep so thinking of like twenty eight weeks later, don't I film? Mm. Where everyone's like, I know David doesn't because he doesn't watch fucking films. Yeah. <laughs> Just let, let people know, yeah, David doesn't watch any films <laughs> at all ever. <laughs> but like I'm thinking, like, is it going to go that bad? Like, or are people going to be running around trying to kill people? Like, over it? Like, uh, look, that's what Jeez. they're trying to make convince people. Yeah, of. but that's what it seems to There's me. There's a like, sociological but why theory. Are they doing that? Yeah, but see, yeah. <laughs> there's a sociological theory around moral panics that governments will do this to scaremonger mm. people and keep them frightened keep them focused yeah, like exactly like, yeah. keep them focused on what's happening around on that and not on what the politicians are doing do you know what
Misdirection is right. Like an old magician. I'm sick of getting misdirected, lads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I reckon there's a cure for the coronavirus in the same lab the coronavirus was a. Uh, invented. So you reckon yeah. it was created? Oh, I do, yeah. yeah. I reckon it was released into the earth. Uh, yeah, they said that about the swine flu as yeah. well, man. There was, however, I was watching some scientist fella said like that there was gene splicing going on here. He mm. said like for this virus to have occurred by itself, it would have been something like a bird would have had to have a flu, have the flu oh, on one continent, yeah, yeah, fly yeah. to another continent and infect a pig or something mm. and then catch it back off of that pig or something like that and then fly to another continent yeah. and hey, give it to, take, a, give it to, a, give it to a person or something like it. It was like, oh, yeah. there's no way this fucking thing would have happened by itself. It's like. germ warfare. So. Just like biological warfare. Like in The Simpsons. Same, yeah. When, that's, um, that's where they're getting their ideas from. Getting, when they, maybe from that's what it is. When they broke into the fucking lab thing and all the germs escaped and Chief Wiggums, remember his... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, no, it's not to clear. If stock markets are crashing, countries are losing. Where does all the money go? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's all the superpowers can keep other nations in line by this, by ruining their economies. Yeah, it's we'll not see, wars we'll anymore. It's not who has the biggest weapons. It's who has the biggest, biggest economy. Mickey. If, oh, there's sorry. A, <laughs> if there's a massive outbreak in America and I want to start fucking the place up, then I'll get worried. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For now, it's like, yeah, it's oh, grand. But there's it's, America, like 350 else. million of a population, and only one person has got it and died from it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, just stop. Well, what's there, the crack with the fellow that has in Ireland? Is he, like, just locked up in some corner now? Like, He's in a hospital? Dublin hospital. But, like, is he quarantined off? Oh, yeah, like yeah, They're yeah, not yeah. saying yeah. where. They're not saying what county. No, they said it now. They came out with it now. No, they, they said he's in a Dublin hospital. No, but, but they came out with the county. I can't remember where it's called, though. But the same school, oh yeah, that's right, because the same school had to be closed down. Was There's a, a lot of kids at home going, yes, mm. they were all at a skiing holiday. My niece was only over in Italy as well three weeks ago at a skiing holiday. They're after that rugby match as well, didn't they? Yeah. And mm. the Irish oh, boxing yeah. team actually had to had to come home from their training camp. I think they were in somewhere in Italy or something. Jesus. The man. team that's going for the, the championships to qualify for the Olympics, so they had to come yeah. home, I think, mm. because of it as well. So, like, it's, it is obviously... Yeah. Storms, he pulled out of a couple of con- concerts as well over it. Did, did he, he, yeah? Yeah, 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 he didn't travel. So, so yeah. people are taking it seriously. It anywhere where there's a fucking... Is it, is it a like scare that. tactic? You know what I mean? If it is, it's fucking working. Like, mm. Do you know what I mean? I watched a fellow the other day. He did the proper research into it. He said, the only way you need to worry about it is if you're really old age, you have a low immune system, you're already open to catching new mm. diseases. But also at our age, there's a not, not 0.2% chance of us even getting badly sick. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah. So mm. people in or out there, they're all, oh, no one better come near me. And <laughs> Step back. He yeah. said, would you, be, people, would you bait the coronavirus? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll find it. Bring it out. Oh, there's the Who's title next? of the podcast. Yeah. Would Graham bait yeah. the coronavirus? Get on the ring corona. kings there and tell them that but we have Neil Power. Neil Power. The best <laughs> the, the promoter of the show the, get the corona for my opponent <laughs> the biggest thing that I laughed at was he said why are all people wearing these masks the only people who should be wearing them are the people infected do yeah. you know what I mean mm. <laughs> unagi yeah but I suppose if you're around someone who has it and you don't want to be breathing I don't know you just punch like, him in the head and get I don't know really like but how they're going to be quarantined anyway yeah, I don't know but sure, obviously they could have it before they know they have it I don't know so how <laughs> can one patient from Italy bring it here to Ireland why did he bring it here Simple. from Ireland? Like, is it because we beat it in the 1990 World Cup, do you think? Yeah. What? He just, just comes over to Ireland. Ireland. That's and like yeah, saying, how can he bring back a sleeve of But fags, if it's like, spreading <laughs> so fast, and if, it look, if it's so contagious and all that, like all the people he came in contact with since then. Mm. You know, I know, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, they I contacted just, everybody two rows of the plane behind him two rows of the plane in front of him see that's what happens when you pal around with like. Stooge too much he has me thinking about yeah. Illuminati's and <laughs> I'm big at that like, no, yeah. <laughs> I, like, I love like, him like, I love says, me not, Anthony says to me last night more because you've changed to come over that egg he says to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah you should start yeah, doing when you're doing all videos no promoting things you should do all weird fucking triangles and stuff like that and have yeah. people thinking like <laughs> Yeah. yeah, look through one eye then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no tattoo of this Freemasons. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here, you guys. Oh, oh that Jesus. time, no. No, you don't have to laugh at this. If you laugh, you're, resa- you're responsible. Yeah. If you, um, this is uh, taking the Mikey, where Mikey tells a few offensive have you jokes. So if yeah. you, um, oh, sure, fuck it, actually, no. Well, well, if, you laugh, something. Well, if you laugh, you're like you're a bad person, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to laugh. I'm bad <laughs> I always, always laugh. Yeah. I'm going straight to hell. I'm all right with it. Look for something. I told the girl she had drawn her eyebrows on too high. She looked really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mild one. Bad. That was a good one. How did Michael Jackson pick his nose? Jesus. Out of a catalogue. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what do alcoholics and necrophiliacs have in common? 
They love to crack open a cold one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's taking the Mikey. Oh, taking oh, the Mikey. Took the Mikey. Not too bad this week, though, no, folks. Not uh, too bad, not too bad. Yeah, a necrophiliac or a necrophile is someone who likes having sex with dead bodies for anyone that doesn't I know. I was spot started Ted watching. Ted job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started watching. It was uh, one time. time. Gentlemen. Time, gentlemen, please. Oh, yeah, 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 I started yeah, watching yeah. that there recently, and uh, when me once said alcoholic, she goes, we don't use that word inside in this pub that we call them the unquenchables. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Fucking oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, oh what about this fucking boxing intro fella we were talking about? Oh yeah, yeah. Did you fucking, know about um, this? Have you seen this? We heard about you know this. fucking what's his face there? Where's he gone? Uh, Michael Buffer. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, so <laughs> so we'll be back after these short messages. I'm just gonna leave it playing out because I'm still not used to this thing. But um, his brother is Bruce, Bruce Buffer, Buffer yeah, with the, the announcer May, yeah. in the UFC. UFC yeah. Yeah. But um, apparently those two lads, I don't know what happened, but they were separated like when they were kids or whatever. Oh, yeah? They were, yeah, they didn't meet each other until they were like in their 40s. And it what? turned out the two of them were doing the same job. Fuck like, yeah, no. I never knew that. No, that's no. fucking mad. That's like. madness. He actually, yeah, yeah. Had, there's a video. But on that uh, Twilight Zone, there was a X-Files there. Oh, this <laughs> fucker. Yeah. Fucking... There's that a video a of him. I... There's a video of somebody talking to him outside, and they're like, um, "Yeah, they were asking Michael Buffer about him." Yeah, they were saying like, "You know, did 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 one of you follow any other's mm-hmm. paths, whatever?" And he was like, "Well, I didn't meet him till I was forty nine years of age." That's and madness, it, isn't and it? And the boat happened to be famous for the same thing, like, so but what, they, they didn't know that they were. Did it, but how did it have? The, that's what I was going to ask you all along, but I wanted to wait. How yeah. did it have the same surname if they were separated apart? Yeah, I don't know. It's like I have no idea how the fuck. I don't know if it was that part or what. I suppose it must have been though, because he said he didn't, he didn't meet him until he was forty nine. Like didn't he? Yeah. Michael Buffer's four hundred million net worth. Lads. What? Oh, yeah. I heard he gets like a million quid for every time he announces or something. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. 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 And yeah. Do you know, like he has that trademark and all. Like, oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Is it in that film? Is it going to sue me? Is it in that film? Mike Dunn us. Is it in that film with Adam Sandler where he's the? Where he's a spy, or, oh, and he turns the hairdresser. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he says, oh, you, have, that you, him, you, yeah. "You haven't seen that, have you?" No, I have. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He hasn't. I have. <laughs> but you remember on about his wife's purse? Isn't he doing like mix, mixing yeah, with yeah. his bollocks <laughs> on the decks? No, that's yeah, that yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah, yeah. He's doing yeah. scratching with his balls on the decks. Is he? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was an Israeli secret agent. Yeah, it was brilliant for him. There, look how how he met his brother at age thirty. That one, the one with the mad face, where he's going. How Bruce met his brother at age thirty. Yeah. It's madness. 30. Oh, and the other fellow was 49, yeah, is it? Yeah, he's obviously older than him. Bruce like. is older, I think. Bruce. Tinder. <laughs> Grinder. Um, no, Michael Buffer would be older, surely. Oh, no, Michael, I'd say Michael's older, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, yeah. He's older, he looks older anyway. He looks like he's had a lot of plastic surgery and shit. Oh, he doesn't definitely he? has, doesn't he? If I had 500 million, I'd have plastic surgery for the crack. <laughs> 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 like, hey, can I get new <laughs> ears yeah. on my cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> the pair did not even meet until the younger brother, Bruce, was 30. Yeah. <sighs> So, yes. like, so was he already? Oh, here, look in that box, Mikey. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, no. Yeah. Bruce and Michael did not grow up together. In fact, it was until Bruce was 30 and Michael was in his 40s that they learned that they were half half brothers, both offspring, offspring of the father who raised Bruce and who Michael did not know. The family reunion came about because Bruce, a lifelong boxing fan whose grandfather and Michael's too, was the bantamweight world champion, Johnny Buff, got to wandering. About the man with his last name who was introducing the fights, the fights that he liked to watch on TV. So, oh, so he did know that Michael Buffer was an announcer and all before he started doing yeah, it himself. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, that's so why. All oh, right, yeah. Mm. So it wasn't so much of a freaky coincidence, so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the story that I heard that they just met each other in their forties or whatever, and they were like, "Oh God, we do the same job and all." Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, so you yeah, copy me? half half brother. So yeah, that kind of makes a bit more sense. It's a bit, you know, a bit mm. more understandable where mm. they just. He, he could have been around for a couple of months and got the child christened and gave the name and then just go on ahead. I'm heading on. Okay. Look, I don't think he cares. He's worth 400 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say fucking um, we're nearly about there. Are we, Mikey? Yeah. yeah we. I just say... Um, we're uh, gone 20 minutes over time. Oh, go ah, away. Jesus Fuck Christ. Fast. Score. Um, yeah. What would you say is your five-year plan in an ideal world now? Boxing wise, like. uh, my five year plan <laughs> world champion, obviously, but yeah, then but you only have times. two minutes to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look, man, I, I just want to keep progressing, man, as a fighter, keep yeah. progressing as, as a person, keep progressing, get titles, get the big fights, and see where I end up. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very, very grateful person for the life I have today. I work very, very hard for it. I take it one fight at a time. God only knows where I'll end up. Literally, God knows where I'll end up. <laughs> yeah, and that's what yeah. I'm going to do with my life. I'm exactly. a big believer in God, He has been this path for a reason, and I'm going to keep going with it. 
I have great support around me, you know, a great wife, mm. beautiful kids, great family, great friends, great team, and let's see what the future holds. And that's it, man. What you're talking about there, being grateful for things is gratitude. Like, you know, we were talking about earlier where people are trying to be positive, but mm. then things go yeah. bad. It's being grateful for all the good things that you have in your life. Look, that's man, what's going to keep you positive. Gratitude like. reciprocates, as, as they say, you know what yeah. I mean? And if you don't, if you're not grateful for what you have, you're going to look outside of it and yeah. you're never going to be happy. You're never going to be happy, yeah. I'm very, very grateful for the life I have today. I was a homeless drug addict, had nothing. Yeah. Couldn't go to jail, had nothing. Fuck's and sake, I had no hole in my pants. My my missus left me. My kids were gone. My mother and father stopped talking to me. Everything was gone. Jesus. To look at the life I have today, I could I could just sit at home with it and be grateful yeah. for everything. I don't, you know I wouldn't have to keep doing what I'm doing, but I'm doing what I'm doing so I can show people that we can become anything. Yeah, we can yeah. do anything in our life. So yeah, I'm very very grateful I have. You know, and I say to anyone out there that wants to become anything in their life, work hard, believe in yourself, and you'll get there. Yeah, well, well, come well here. Your smart, your your smart fly. You're gonna get him into boxing because he, he is fucking. Anytime, man, he puts up a picture. <laughs> his young fly be in the background. He's there throwing up the muscles. Boy, and he yeah. is dead, fucking <laughs> Look, I, I love like, my kids. When I have five four kids, I have three older lads from a past relationship: Ellie, Josh, and Kato. I love very, very much. And my smart fly didn't know I have my wife now, but Dylan has grown up with boxing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Realize, like he's grown up around boxing. Like yeah. he's, all he he's, he's boxing. so serious. Like, he's a little lately, man. Like he's actually really good. Like I bring him on the pads all the time. He plays soccer, and rugby. So yeah. I won't, I'd never push any of my kids in anything, but I, I have a feeling he's going to want the box. Because yeah. I never talk to all this, well, damn, I'm going to do a pass, I'm going to do a pass, I'm going to do So yeah, he's, he's a bundle of joy in my own fly, man. I swear to God, he's, he's an absolute lunatic. Yes, yeah, yeah, see, they do say it's a learned behaviour. Mm. What you mm. do, he will copy. Yeah. You're the role model for him. So yeah. what, You what, could what, be what? fucking teaching him a lot worse. Yeah, exactly. exactly, man. Exactly. exactly. He could exactly, be watching you, know. you do negative stuff yeah. and wanting to do it like yeah, you know, so. yeah. What kind of workouts are we going to be seeing you doing now in the future? Like real Back fancy clips, smoke machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to Welcome to the Jungle is my song, man. I, I changed it for two for two songs. I changed it to um, the God's going to cut you down for my third fight because we had a rough week before my third fight. My friend was murdered and, and Lawrence had passed away. So I came out to that song, my third fight. And for my fourth fight, something happened with the DJ. So I didn't come out to Welcome to the Jungle. There's only reason it was different. But Welcome to the Jungle is my song. So... Yeah. You're just I gonna got, stick with that. Yeah, I stick with yeah, Welcome yeah, to the Jungle. Yeah, yeah like, and my my uncle doesn't let me change that. I said to him last time, "Do you want to change it?" Something like, no, come on, Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah. Change it, Thomas the Tank. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about coming out like on a magic carpet or a big throne or, or a train, yeah, tank engine, yeah, 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 or an actual tank? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah train. It'd have if to be a train, wouldn't it? If we ever want steak knife, now to ever write you a sound for your listen, you can wrap me out to Welcome to the Jungle next week. You know what I mean? We could Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah. One little thing as well, though. Tickets went on sale for your. Yeah, I I have tickets. Uh, anyone that's looking to come to the fight hit me up for tickets uh, yeah so how do they follow you on Instagram uh, Instagram my name is G-Tran McCormack um, hit me up follow me and I will I'd love to support the more people that are down there to support me yeah. the better you know I want to say thanks to all my sponsors who are on board to the new sponsors who are coming on board this camp well, obviously I'll announce them as they come on board all my team around me I love you all all my, my family my and I, to Limerick City man it's always behind me. Mm. I'm so grateful for the, for the support I have for my city. It, it really does. Ma- it really means so much to me. And anyone that's looking for tickets, hit me up on social media. Instagram is G. Chen McCormack. I don't know what my Snapchat name is, but I'm sure if you text me, I'll give it to you. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't send nudes. It's yeah. fine. I'm a, I'm a very loyal husband. I love my wife. I'm not into that kind of stuff. And my Facebook is just Graham McCormack. So hit me anywhere for the tickets. Mm. Ringside are 70 euro. There's a uh, seated tier are 55. And then there's but ones for the back of our and those, the ones at the and back are for the plebs <laughs> <laughs> well look lads anyone's coming I promise rankings too a big shout out to Neil Power it's going to be an absolutely amazing show it's going to be a great fight on it and anyone wants to come hit me up for tickets Saturday the 9th of May Saturday 9th of May in the WIT Arena in Waterford and remember we'll be here on the like 10th of May then Announcing, announcing the, win announcing the great win. We'll you know? have to get you back on after. Yeah, I love, man, I really, I gratefully got me on. I love watching the podcast. Yeah. I was glad for, to be on. You know, for uh, for anyone who's never been to an event like that, man, they're fucking serious. Crap, ah, like, you know? like right, my my brothers, my nephew is not all into boxing. Yeah, I know. Boxing I know they so, all the boys. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. like we've been all over the country. Like they're yeah. fucking like the they're atmosphere and the buzz inside them is brilliant. brilliant. Like and Waterford, so, like I said, man, he puts in so much to the production. Man, those TVs and it's really cool. Walk over in a ramp and looking forward to it, man. It's cool. You know, makes it's really really cool. Looking forward to it. So look, if anyone wants to call me won't be disappointed it's a great show cool go follow Graham on nice. Instagram anyway yeah. just yeah. fucking get the old followers up yeah yeah cool like, yeah. fucking um, yeah shall we leave it there so we? we're going yeah. way over time yeah oh yeah what am I doing here I can't even thanks for having me on let's really appreciate it enjoy yeah. this cheers for coming man <laughs> <laughs> We need to get the hang of this. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be brilliant. We'll have, a, it? we'll have a choo-choo train and everything on it. Yeah, yeah. choo-choo. I'm on Brendan. I'm on Brendan. I'm on Brendan, that man. I forgot all about that. 
Um, yeah, so we'll uh, we leave it there. Fucking um, log on to ccpodcast.ie. All the links to all of our social media and every platform that we're on are on there. So yeah. go follow us as well if you yeah. haven't already. Subscribe everywhere. And that's, that's it. it. Best of yeah. luck, best of luck to your fight. Thanks, lads. Best Thanks. of luck. And choo choo on the way to the choo, fight. Choo, baby. And then choo choo the food after Six the fight. Ah, you were waiting for that one. You were waiting for that one. He choo choos you. I choo choo choos you. Ah, brilliant. We are out, Mikey. Good luck, good luck.